and we are recording. All right. When last we left off, the Wolf Pack, having set off from Hilltown towards the newly declared war zone of the Redwood Forest in search of Toral Redfire, immediately encountered a problem in the shape of three Brotherhood assassins sneaking up on their watchman, Garuk. Chastising her for her inability to follow their protocols, she was given the choice of leaving the Brotherhood or earning her place back in. She decided upon the latter, taking two difficult contracts in the Redwood in exchange for her continued membership. Continuing their journey, the wolf pack encountered some other difficulties in the form of an ambush by Onkegs, the decision to heal an injured man on the road, and the utter destruction of a dwarf who took a very drunken tumble off of a giant eagle. Making their way into the Redwood Forest, the party came under the influence of some kind of spell that seemed to confuse uh, their intended route. Journeying forward, they came upon a soft chiming noise originating from a house built into one of the massive trees of the Redwood. Approaching the house, they knocked on the door, and it resulted in a chilling voice inviting them into the house proper. Enter, my dearies. Come and visit. So, no way this could end badly, guys. Wolfpack. Nice, nice. What would you like to do? Can you tell me just before we go further, how far off the road did we go? Uh, from the hut to the road, it would be about... 60, 75 feet, somewhere in that range. It's a little hard to... It's not like direct grassland or anything like that. There's tree roots and shit in the way. But you can easily see where the wagon was. And this is built into a tree, right? Yeah, this is built into one of the massive redwood trees. Uh, It's like carved in a little bit to where the main door and like the porch is. But there's some stuff sticking out the side, like the edge of it as well. So yeah, it's built into the tree itself. All right, and confusion brought us here, but... We approached the the hut at our at our own accord, right? Like yeah, that thing yeah. You guys were hearing a wind chime noise, and okay. it led you down this certain road to where that hut was, and then you decided to get off the road and go check out the hut with Garuk. I think it was Garuk knocking on the door. But you've now been invited in. What would you like to do? Are we hungry or something, guys? Like, why are I mean, I could here? eat. Does she have food? Uh, what's your What's your name, lady? Oh, you You haven't stepped inside yet. Like, uh, we only you, hear her. Yeah, you only heard her and like oh, bid you to enter. Yeah, she invited you in. You haven't You haven't opened the door or anything yet. Oh uh, yeah, I'll open the door. All right, you open up the door. Uh, inside the hut is the interior of the hut is mostly dark. Even with your magical dark vision, then it seems muffled in here. Like, you're able to negate pretty much everything, but it, somehow there's some kind of just oppressive field. You're still able to see, but it's, like, it's everything's... Gloomy. Like, all the, like, all the gray light that you're normally seeing in this would be covered with a blanket, almost. Uh, there appears to be a single green wax candle on a table in the center of the room, giving off the, um, some kind of muted flame. Uh, the table itself is covered in random knickknacks, mainly animal bones and dried root, with similar decorations around the hut. Uh, all around the walls are spots where there's random animal heads mounted, uh, clusters of bone that appear to be tied together with wire hanging from the ceiling, and along the entire back half of the wall of this hut is nothing but cubby holes filled with scrolls of parchment, just stuffed in there with no apparent organization. Sitting at this table uh, in front of you is what appears to be a green-skinned woman, uh, bit of a odd colored green skin not quite you know deep forest green or anything similar almost like the swamp water that you guys drank once when you were in marshtown uh her face appears to have numerous blemishes and scars a couple of the marks on her face almost look like bits of tree bark uh with a long nose that seems to have grown out almost like a tree branch and bright eyes the color of evergreen needles uh, from her right shoulder, it looks almost like a small tree is growing out of it, with a few puffs of leaves there as well. Her white hair is thin and wispy, hanging around her head in clump strands. Her form, it's a little hard to tell from where you guys are seeing as you're coming into the hut. Uh, it seems to be hidden mostly within a mottled brown and green robe. And every time there's a little bit of a shift in the air around it, it seems to shimmer in the darkness. As she just slowly looks up from her table at you. Uh, who all is going in, if anyone is? Uh, 
But this is still the same game, like, as before. So, like, my armor shadows is still active, correct? Yeah, yeah, your mage armor is still up. Cool. Uh, well, I mean, y'all just gonna hang outside? Uh, Fuck it, I'm going in. What's I'm up, gonna, old I'm lady? Gonna stay, I'm gonna stay inside and watch, go watch over things. I'll go in. What are you guys doing? I don't know. Like, when have we ever made good choices? Making dumb choices. Yeah. Well, hello there, travelers. How can Agartha help you? Uh, Agartha, hi. Yeah, are you Agartha? <clears throat> I am. This I is my you. hut. Sweet. We're trying to get to Oakland, but your woods are confusing as shit. <laughs> you are not wrong, dearie. The Redwood does what it will to those not familiar with its ways. Yeah. So, if, it uh, is, if it is Oakland you seek, you will continue down the road you were previously on. It will eventually take you there. Sweet. Thank you. But since you're here... Yeah, do you smoke weed? I'm I out. do on occasion, but mostly wow. I read fortunes. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, one of these. <laughs> Ooh. Is the door still open? Am I just the door is still outside? open. Yeah, uh -huh. you said you were standing outside, right? Hey, hey Rick, yeah, she, reads, just keep, she reads just fortunes. Yeah, yeah I, I, heard, I heard that. She reads fortunes. Okay, I'm going to reluctantly go inside. This is getting interesting. Come on! Alright. Taylor, are you going in? No. I'm gonna stay <laughs> outside with Kisa. Probably fucking smart. Okay. Nerd. Is there anyone who would like their fortune read? Uh, hey, Bertha. I'm Rix. I'm down. Yeah, I need some guidance, because I got, like, mixed messages on what I'm supposed to be doing, so. Hook me up. Well, my fortunes are not free, dearies. But I do not take payment in forms of coin or items. I ask for something else in exchange. I ask Fine, but from behind, truth. we're not making eye contact. Wait, what was that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> truths. I yeah, ask for quickly. truths and secrets from you in exchange for your fortunes and a glimpse into your future. Uh, what do you want to know? Like, do I just get to pick a secret? Pick your secret. If it is strong enough to bend the wills of fate, it will be accepted. Um. But there is a process to this. Oh, sorry. You must all read or you must all recite your truth, for I can only enter the trance once. I will read each of your fortunes while in this trance. But the offering must be accepted before I start. So those who wish to have their fortunes read, offer your truths to me. And close the door if you're not coming in. The darkness helps. I'm gonna go back outside. I was gonna pay some gold for that, but... I'll shut the door. Yeah, I'm gonna go out there. Yeah, they're doing some weird witch shit. Yeah, I noticed. All right, so there's three of you still in there. What uh, what secret or truth do you offer of yourself? Um, like, do we have to do it at the same time? So, like, we all have to pick one and then go like one, two, three, go. Just yeah, if you have if you have one, say it. I thought we'd do it at the same time. Not at the same time, no. It'll be like everyone has to offer something up. She'll um, up, you she'll start the trance and then read off to those who were accepted. Um, something up, okay. 
uh, I think this power inside me is making me fucking lose my mind. Like, I legitimately don't know what is real and what is not real at times. Like, I think this might be all like an autistic kid's dream inside a snow globe. Does that count? Does that work? She just kind of nods. It's on to the other two. Because weird boners was the next set of secrets. <laughs> Garuk, Tyler, what you got? All right, I'll go. Um, I'm haunted by someone constantly, and I just want that to go away. Does that work? On their head. She looks at you, Garuk. say hunted or haunted up to you yeah, fair enough Plus, i am too uh haunted by somebody in my past who has emotionally and physically abused me she nods her head these are accepted. She lays her hands, uh, modeled green fingers, plop, or lay resting on the front of the table now. The green candle flame grows brighter as if whatever was muting it is suddenly gone, uh, lighting up the room in this eerie glow, almost. You watch as most of her body goes very rigid without moving, without any kind of reflexive breathing action, anything like that, you, the bright evergreen color of her eyes suddenly goes black. As she suddenly turns her head with almost like a tree branch cro like groaning sound as she turns her head and looks over towards you first, Finn. I see numerous twists and turns around you. The path you walk is not clear and frequently changes as though guided by another. Yet you yourself are the one changing direction, fighting that which leads you. Be careful not to become as twisted as your future, young Storm Raven, lest you risk losing everything you have earned. Watch the skies warily. Others who have left the path you are on may seek to bring you with them, whether you want to go or not. Seek the one known as Wolfrin, they can be a wealth of knowledge if the right questions are asked. Another croaking, cro uh, crone, can't say it right, uh, creaking sound as she shifts over to you, Tyler, staring at you. The daughter of nature, still bleeding and wounded from her time within these woods. You staunch the bleeding with elixirs and remedies, but nothing seems to heal it. It is this pain that has put you on the path you started when once you left this forest. But do not blind yourself to reality. The death of a monster does not bring healing in those affected by it. It only leaves the killer feeling hollow, having been deprived of a distraction to what is truly needed. Speak to those, or seek those who speak without voices. It is only with them that you may come to find true healing another creaking sound. She looks to Garuk. Darkness permeates your being, young knife. A dark, tortured past. A bloody, violent present. And a future that may be both, if you are not careful. Your actions have consequences and your responsibilities may at times be more than you can handle. If you do not learn to share these burdens... They may consume you, or lead you to an end as bloody as all the others in your life. 
Once you have learned this lesson, seek the light within the vault. It may not redeem you. It may come to guide you away from the dark. With that, her eyes flick back to green. Uh, Movement comes back into her arms as she pulls them back from the table, the muted color of the flame coming back. Well, hopefully you all learn something of yourselves. Is there anything else I can help you with? Are you are you like a are you like a druid or something? No, child. I am merely one in tune with the forces of this great forest. All oh, right, just make it. Be it better or worse. If that is all, she claps her hands once and the door opens up, uh, which, by the way, you two outside, you weren't able to hear any of that. As soon as the door closed, everything, like all noise from inside went quiet. Yeah, fair enough. Presumed. So, yeah, but suddenly the door flies open. You see door flies open. Yeah, the door opens up. You see uh, in there three of them just kind of standing there. Seemingly the processing what was said. As soon as it flies open, I draw my swords because I'm paranoid anyway. Oh, there's no need for those, dearie. Easy trigger. Right. We're fine. <clears throat> so you said just like down this road and keep following up, we're good? Yep. If you continue looking for Oakland, it will eventually find you. Uh. Take care, dearies. Thanks. Oh, I guess I'm so worried about it. Uh, that spooky old lady was fine. Yeah, she was fine. You didn't give her too much. Oh, I mean, not really. Can't she like see what with that she pulled about? back and I'm assuming I'm assuming you guys have left the hut at this point. Oh yeah. 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 Right. yeah. We're heading back to the This conversation on the way back to the wagon. Alright. I'm an old I'm an old man. I've been down that road before. Be careful what you do with whatever she told you. Sometimes, I'm pretty sure that sometimes uh that shit is planted into your brain to manipulate what happens. You really don't control of it anyway. Yeah, no, I'm not too surprised. Like, they're definitely like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. No. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming the look to the skies means it's that fucking half orc shithead that hangs out with a blade. That I already knew was formerly connected to the same power I am. <clears throat> So he's going to try to get... Ooh, that means he's going to get me on their side. Ooh, I could join their team. I mean, theoretically. See what I mean? See what I mean? Already working on it. <laughs> Alright, so... Back on the road? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. We'll fucking nap out get these spell points back. Alright. You guys hop back onto the wagon. As you continue down the road, I need somebody to roll a d6. I think I did the very last one. Could be wrong. Nope, it was Finn. There we go. Oh, Same. Rat. It could be anything. Rocks fall, your party has died. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Wow. So, uh, Cholera! Right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you you have gotten on the Oregon Trail. Cause of death. Cholera. <laughs> Dysentery. There you go. Dysentery. We no, tried our uh, best. 
as you guys are continuing down the road, uh, you only make it about an hour away from her place before you notice three armed men walking down the road uh, opposite you, so heading down the way you came from. Is that a short uh, rest? Yeah, you, you would have had the time for a short rest, so if you need to roll, go ahead and roll. Um, um, I got hit, so I'm going to go ahead and get one of these hit dice back. Boom. And get those spell points back. Sweet. All right. But you start, you notice them a ways out, a couple hundred feet away, uh, as the distance starts getting a little bit closer. You are kind of almost able to recognize uh, Taylor. You're able to recognize an emblem on uh, hanging from their armor a little bit. As, and as you get closer, you definitely recognize it. These three are fellow bounty hunters. Uh, as the distance gets closer and closer, they eventually reach out a hand. Oh, there. Uh, travelers, a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. I'll pull the reins and stop the Sorry to disturb you. Uh, we're, we're tracking a dangerous individual that uh, seemed to be heading down the road. Did you happen to pass someone like that? Uh, Would have been a little bit wounded, had a couple of arrows sticking out of him, maybe. Oh, we couldn't tell about the arrows because I think he was splattered on the road. Yep, way down. <sighs> Splat. Splattered, as in like, yeah. laying on the road dead, or... No, like fell off of something high up in the air and fell down to the ground and went spelat. How far away was this? this? Uh, a while back. It was a dwarf. The guy before was a dwarf? No, no. A uh, human. A mage, actually. No, we haven't seen any. We haven't seen any. Go ahead, Rix, go ahead and make a deception check. <laughs> Is it deception if I legitimately don't remember seeing this dude? Yeah, you forgot. Dude, I suck at, at I'm not Bindle. <laughs> I remembered. Oh, yeah. Why are we letting... Um... I, really I, now. I might want to point out that this is an individual being who was currently wanted by the Empire for high treason and the illegal practice of magical enchanting without a warrant. Oh, anyone that dude? Who was, anyone yeah. who would be caught aiding and abetting him would be oh. complicit in this crime. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we Can ran into that cat. Rick, shut yeah. the fuck up! Oh, okay. okay. Jesus uh. Christ. You'll have to forgive him. He gets sunstroke. Because he's a drow and he's not normally used to the sun beat down. It makes his brain real stupid. And it uh -huh. makes his mouth work when it shouldn't. Yeah, Other we trees. did see that cat a while back. <laughs> we saw that cat a while back. Yes. Okay. Was he just heading down the road or? Yeah, he had some arrows stuck in him. He was headed down the road. Do you have any interactions with him at all? I mean, he asked for help. And we said, hey. That's, who are you, dude? Healing potions are expensive. There's a town back there, and he went that way. Go ahead and make a deception check as well. What my dice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? <sighs> We're gonna have to... Damn it. No, no, you're, you're saved by my shitty die rolls. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you for your honesty. So what this dude do? Well, uh, uh, he's an illegal enchanter. He put out, gave out some uh, materials infused with magic that he was not allowed to be giving out. Uh, as you might be aware, spellcasters are heavily regulated by the crown, and this man is most definitely not regulated. Oh, that is terrible. I mean, rule breakers just... Ugh cannot abide they are the worst but they are just the fuck be wary these I'm these would be no friendly to uh anyone traveling the roads these days so what if we see this dude like you got the same fucking badge as this cat right is it we get a reward well no i mean you had lied about F meeting him at first and then you had to cough it up that you didn't run into him so dude, dude this dumb hmm. shit has sunstroke he was the one he you don't listen to him i told you that i told you we saw the guy how did i lie I'm nodding i'm, not I'm fucking talking. offended 
I, no, I didn't want to help you. So never mind. Forget I asked a question. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. And they three of yeah! them. No, I legitimately threw the <laughs> reins, and we're going. All right, and you guys take off. You're way cooler than those guys, Taylor. Those guys are kind of dicks. Also, do you think it's bad that you healed that guy? Since he's being hunted by bounty hunters? Well, I mean, we didn't know, so. You, oh, they did not matter. seem. Those dudes did not seem to give a shit about that. Like, I think aiding and abetting was their uh, opener. Well, I mean, anything when, they can do to get the information. When you healed. Wait, him, are those like. Are they it, like agents of the empire or are they just like freelance no so they were like, totally yeah. freelance you could right oh. they look like contractors didn't like they, they don't have any authority right or they they, 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 they all you guys they didn't yeah they they weren't dressed in any kind of official or official imperial garb they just all that yeah. they really had on them was some basic armor and weapons and the same insignia that uh taylor uh Carries on him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. If, if they were if they were looking official, they shit, were. would have never lied to him. Am I legit? No, I didn't oh, give two shits about that. They'll definitely would have lied to him, but that's why you're not going to talk to anybody I, anymore. I zip. <laughs> God damn it! Close you that fucking speaking. close that fucking tin can over your mouth. You are our, you are our silent hulking enforcer. I just uh, I just envision like the last 150, 200 years of Rick's being a cop, just being like one of the worst cops ever. <laughs> <laughs> just being terrible at it. Stop resisting. Like that kind of terrible or like just inept? I mean, you're definitely like yes. more goody goody cop like Murtaugh or something like God damn it. Right, yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I would have never, like, like lying is not something that, and that's what I mean, like shaking people down and lying and things like that no that's yeah not you're that. you're more the by no. the book guy yeah not ricks mm. yep let's just here's let me th- handle here, that here's the here's the thing though if it came if it came back to bite us we can deny it anyway that taylor helped and we didn't know what was wrong with him anyway uh push for the show fucking He's murdered and dumped in the woods for fucking scavengers to eat. I don't give a shit. Yeah. But if we see yeah. that dude again, we know he's a fucking just enchanter, him. and that fucking yeah. healing spell is sure as shit not gonna be free this time. Yeah, exactly. That was where my thought was, like, I don't give a shit that we ate it and abetted him. Fucking no. kind of pissed that we ate it and abetted for free when this dude's, like, tossing magic around willy-nilly. Well, it wasn't for free. I mean, he gave... Taylor yeah, you guys did get a level four spell out of it. Yeah, oh, that's right. Pretty dope. Yeah, Oof, I mean, he, was he high. Paid he paid it up. <clears throat> well, we're we're moving anyway. Oh, that's probably like the giving out enchanted magic stuff that he's wanted by the police for. Yeah, probably a probably a good idea. You didn't mention that scroll. We don't, yeah, we don't know his, his past or anything, what the hell he's doing. That's alright, that's, that's way, that's way back. That's in the past. Alright. You continue down the road for a couple more hours. Uh, by this point, it's late afternoon, getting evening time, the sun's going down, the trees are starting to get darker, and it's about that time you start smelling wood smoke heavy heavy scent of wood smoke and then you start smelling other things being burning as or being burnt as well uh things like meat and grass and stone and just numerous things in the forest Shit. that might be burnt elvis Ooh. fly all right you send elvis up to go spy and he spots not that far away a section of the forest, uh, lighter area of the forest, where there's not any of the like massive trees. This is an area where there's mostly like the little ones, uh, completely scorched away from the canopy. It is just like an open clearing at that point. Uh, as he gets a little bit closer and goes to check it out, it looks like this entire area is just a burnt, scorched part of the road and surrounding wildlife area. So, like the f- patch of burnt goes over the road. Yeah. 
Yeah, it goes. It's both sides of the road, mostly to the left side of the road, but it goes over both sides, and it is just a whole chunk of area that is just scorched earth gone. Little fire still kind of going off in little areas. Uh, as things are burning down, but for the most part, it looks like it just got washed over with it. I'll stop the horses. Uh, yeah, I'll tell. Obviously, I just told everybody what you just told me or what you I'll just said. How, how far ahead? Uh, by this point, you could probably guess it's about 500 feet in front of you. Uh, the smell of smoke's been getting thicker and thicker. All right. Should we approach cautiously or just head that way? Wait, how, um, how, I mean, how, what's, does how, Elvis see anything in the middle of it? Like, am I seeing anything? Are we talking moving? diameter? Yeah, what's a, what, are we talking like this looks like a fireball or? Uh, much bigger than a fireball. Uh, you'd guess, go ahead and have Elvis roll a perception check. We'll give him, we'll give it an idea. Or if there's an impact. Nice. Is that, that is a natural one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very big. It's kind of hard to judge because things are getting dark and the forest and the angle he's at, it kind of messes with the uh, perception of it. It's bigger than a fireball radius. You can probably guess that much just from the size alone, but a little hard to tell exactly how big. It's a lot, though. And obviously I don't see anything like moving in the middle of it. Other than, No, no, it's getting kind of hard from that distance. Uh, you're not really able to make out anything. The fact that it's getting that dark now at that point, and there's just little like pockets of fire still around, it's not helping his vision at all. Yeah. All right, we'll keep going forward. Just I'll, I'll approach cautiously, I'm not like trying to be sneaky or anything. horses and shit. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll approach the edge. All right, you guys start down the road again, a little more cautiously this time. Uh, you eventually make it to the edge of this burnt zone, and it is quite literally just you're at one point you're in the forest surrounded by trees and wildlife and everything, and the next it is just burnt cobblestone, burnt grassland, burnt tree stumps, and from what you can see, burnt wagons, uh, burnt Ooh. people, Ooh. and the remnants of an imperial division uh, going around checking over things, just seeing what exactly is going on in this burnt region, if there's any survivors or anything like that. Oh, there's oh, fucking there, fed, there's, there's federals people, running around? There's people? Yeah, there there's are, people? in fact, imperial troops. Oh, shit. Do they see us yet? As you guys have entered the clearing, yeah, you see a couple of imperials uh, just kind of point over to you. Most of them seem to be going around the areas, checking the bodies for anything that maybe didn't get completely scorched, um, or hopefully any kind of intel. It's kind of hard to tell whether these bodies are Imperial or not as well, because they're burnt to a fucking crisp. But you do see a couple of them just kind of like gesture over to you. Uh, one of them that ha seems to have a uh, plume on the top of his helm kind of starts heading towards you with one more as backup. Are you guys doing anything? Are you stopping or what are you doing? I'm assuming we should probably stop, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah. I'll I'll stop the horses if we if I see them in this this way for sure. I'll slow them down. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there. State your business. This is an active war zone. Uh, yeah, we're on our way to the fucking front lines. Are you now? Are you enlisting in the army or? We got uh papers. We're already supposed to like we got the legit stuff. We're a <clears throat> contracted company with the empire we're going to oakland to help out in the efforts i see your writ of tasking please uh yep we have that right yep you guys have that i don't yep. remember if you guys ever wrote a name on there uh -huh. no, no we, we did not i don't think you guys did <laughs> as much no. as i pushed it and pushed it why did why did we get a blank one in the first place because you weren't sure who was going to be in charge there yeah we, we didn't have any name to put. Uh. All right. You hand it over? Yep. Okay. Takes a look at it. Starts going through it. Nods his head. Gets to the bottom. Looks back up at you guys. It appears you're missing your commanding officer. What? Is this just a clerical error, or do you actually have one? What the fuck are you talking about? The stupid fucking Imperial clerk gave us that piece of paper and said, go up here to get paid. 
Are you saying it's not like legit? Are we not gonna? Motherfucker. Go ahead and roll a deception check with advantage. That was a pretty good. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> nice. Uh, so hold the fuck up. That's there's like he. It's not like signed or stamped or whatever. Oh man. It is stamped. Come However, you're, you appear to be missing the name of your contact liaison. Were you given a specific name of someone you were supposed to be working under? I did. I was super fucking hungover. They probably said it, but I knew it was on the paper, so I didn't really worry about it. Right. Well, let's see. I mean, I'm assuming whoever's up there that's in charge will just report to the like main base in Oakland. Well, we're going to need to get this confirmed independently, but it do I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. He hands the writ back to you. Cool. Uh, I will need you to check out with a Commander Blackwood back up there in Oak uh, in Oakland. Once you get up there, you'll be able to get that clerical arrow sorted out. Good. You said Blackwood? Uh, yep. Hey, he goes by the, com or the moniker Commander Blackwood. Sweet. Yeah, so that's the dude that will fucking get us sorted. Garuk, you would recognize that name. Uh, yes. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, head to Oakland, Blackwood, gotcha. What the fuck happened here, by the way? Y'all need any help? No, I think we're perfectly alright. Uh, one of our patrols got ambushed, and the uh, another liaison of ours, the Torch, was able to put the enemy to the torch. We're currently sorting out what's left of the rebel activity here. Uh, just trying to see if they had anything on them that might indicate where they're coming from. All right, well, sweet. We better uh, let you get back to it then. Good talking to you guys. Be careful on the road, and like I said, check in with uh, Commander Blackwood. I'll be sending a report to make sure that that clerical error gets figured out. Yeah. How far yeah. up is the well, can't we just, like, put Blackwood on here? It's best to have him confirm it independently first. Uh. So, Oakland's a couple more hours down the road, but you'll get there before nightfall, hopefully. Uh, just be careful on the road, and as soon as he's, like, in the midst of talking to this, you guys hear the twang of bows coming off from beyond the woods as uh, one of the other Imperial officers shouts, Captain, we're under! And then t is taken immediately by an arrow in the throat. Uh, you watch as a storm of arrows flies into this clearing, wiping out, or it's starting to damage some of the Imperials here. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm ducking back in the fucking wagon. Yeah, getting behind the horse. Uh, no, I'm going into defense mode. Okay, you're a giant hulking titan sitting in the front of the wagon, tipping it forward a little bit. I hop out the wagon. Oh, I, I, I'm hopping out. Nope, I wouldn't have. <laughs> so I hop off the wagon after I go in. <laughs> I'll hop All off right. the wagon, but I'll have my hands up. Hands up like you're about to cast something, or hands up like no. you're surrendering? Like like I'm meaning no harm to whoever's shooting us. Uh, I think they're coming from somewhere we can't see, correct? Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Disadvantage, because this is quite a large clearing, and the light here isn't exactly... Uh, Oh, well, to make yeah, because yeah, I'm looking it's still day. It's still day I mean, yeah, right, it's right? it's getting dark, but there's also flickering lights kind of fl fucking with everything, so... And you're even at... It's a big enough range that most people, it's going to be out of range, so, yeah. Anyone who wants to make it at disadvantage can. Oh, you said disadvantage? Yep. Did the guy that took the arrow in the throat, was he right beside us? Uh, no, he was a little farther up in here. Uh, did he, did he die, though? Okay. That guy, yeah, this dude is dead. So the dude that was talking to us? Uh, no, no, the dude that's talking to you... Let's see. Can, here's here's, some, right here's here. something... Yeah, here's something for a point of reference. Whenever I go into def defense mode and I get, like, into this giant hulking uh, situation, am mm -hmm. I so big that if I'm standing beside, say, Finn... Would he feel comfortable going, oh shit, and getting right behind me? Like, am I that big? Because he's just a human, right? Like, would he get some sort of cover, like quarter cover or half cover? Potentially. That's my question. It, it, potentially. Okay. I mean, you are a pretty big of you are frosty. 
whether he chooses to use you as cover is yeah, I'm not implying I'm not implying that he, that he's doing that right, right now just for reference just because just so everybody knows like how big yeah, I mean he'd have to like actively take cover behind you but he might get okay. some kind of boost to it all right I was curious why well, I, I I go into defense mode and hop down anyway I'm just ducking down in the back of the wagon. You said this is like a fucking cop wagon, so it's got like thick walls, right? It's got some thicker sides to it. Yeah. Yep, I'm just okay. ducking down. Uh, Garuk, twins, what are you guys doing? I'll hop off to the side. Yeah, same. Kind of I'll just sit the there casually. If roughly and kind of stand on the opposite side of the <laughs> cart. Shit, oh. guys, this is a this is a conundrum. Let's see here. Uh, Garuk failed. Tyler oh, failed. Taylor yeah. failed. Rick's failed. And you're not able to make out ex like any one spot where arrows are coming from. It does appear to be like a swarm coming in from multiple sides of this clearing. Oh, shit. So it's coming in from like all around us. Pretty much, yeah. It, <clears throat> With that roll, you're able to make out it's not like a giant cluster coming from one spot around this. It's it's kind of scattered. Looks like a storm by the time it's up in the air and about to hit. Mm -hmm. But as it's being fired out from you know the clearing, you're seeing it's like usually like groups of like one or two or three together in various points along the edge of this area. Cool. But as you guys are just kind of like hopping off, looking around, seeing what the hell's going on, another storm comes in. Two more Imperials drop dead. As uh, the officer starts shouting orders, trying to get them all manned up, he looks back at you. Well, come on, let's go. Going, you're supposed to be working for the Empire, right? I thought we had talked uh, to Kevin Blackwood first. As the arrows really? are flying at right us. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't talk. I'm a giant. I'm a giant piece of metal. Just to break character for a second, Matt. That literally broke my brain. <laughs> that was hilarious. I mean, literally. That was that, that made perfect. me stop. That, that legit yep. made me stop. <laughs> Maybe don't talk to Blackwood the, uh... first. Duck, ducking down. Yeah, you broke the DM. <laughs> Is ever is everybody still in, in the cart? Uh, everybody, everybody jumped out but me. Yeah, everybody, yeah. no, I'm still yeah, yeah, in no, the cart. Rook's yeah, just Rook's chilling something. like she has been the entire time. <laughs> Finn's Rook's currently like down laying me. down, like don't shoot me, please, don't shoot me. I mean, I'm just like crouched down. I'm not like laying down. It's like you said the walls are tall, so I figure I can like sit on the floor and be covered. Yeah. How many? Can we see how many guys are left? How many soldiers on uh, Imperial sol soldiers? I mean, just uh, yeah. You see, there's three that appear wounded. Uh, the officer and one of his buddies. It's not too far from you. At this point, they'd be over here. Um, that don't appear wounded. Oh, so looks like yeah. Total of like seven. Hey, Groot. You guys doing anything else? Or are you just standing should there? We just, should we just kill these Imperials and just say I fuck it? it. I'll take my helmet down. I'm kind of thinking about are, are there other any other Imperial camps near here for backup? Uh, nearest ones uh, would be Oakland itself. What about that torture thing? You said they could come fix this, right? Kind of a roving thing. He burned this area and then left for the next one. All right, cool. I'm going to pop up and shoot it with an Eldritch Blast. Oh, shit. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and roll to attack. <laughs> Fuck yes. <gasps> Fuck yes. Ah, oh, dog shit. Oh. I'm charging Three. him too. I don't know if that's going to provoke initiative or not. I'm sure we'll have to roll initiative now. Yeah. Hey, hold on one second. I'm going to find... What's my... Wait, would I get an advantage because he's not looking at me? He was not looking at you, so yeah, go ahead and roll with advantage. He, so that'll be 13, 12 for the first one. Roll again for the second. All right, you barely got it with that 21. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. 12 points of force damage. <clears throat> as the officer smacked with, in the back with this blast of energy. Raiders! He immediately starts running towards you with one of his friends. Now I'm going to go ahead and need everybody... 
Uh, Roll initiative. <laughs> okay, I gotta clear it. I'm so uh, glad you fucking did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Susie said the fucking Honestly, backup wasn't there. Like, backup's an hour away, and our big yeah. heavy is gone now. Like, I mean, that's why I asked. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? Yeah, I think I was still deleting it. Uh, Ricks, go ahead and roll it again, and I'll change yours to a 22. Okay. Oh, I got 22, too. Nice. Um, I've got a dex 18. So do I. Paper, scissors? Uh, boulder parchment shears? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Finn, you go ahead, man. You're good. Yeah. All right, and Tyler, I need yours. I thought I rolled it. Hang on. Is the one he oh, you blasted... Know I forgot to click on my, my icon. Is he clearly oh, yeah. like a uh, like a sergeant or a captain, or are they all just kind like, of peons? Like, that's the shot, right? There we go. Yeah, that's the one he got shot. Sweet. And does he, does he look like he looks like he's maybe in charge? Yeah, uh, he seemed to be the one that was calling the shots. Everyone was looking to him for guidance, and he's the only one with a plume on the top of his helm. The rest of them are all wearing the standard kind of steel, black, and green, or black and red imperial armor. Okay. With any kind of deviation with the uh, plume, so. Okay, and they, let's see, where the hell am I? There were so many ways this could have gone. I wasn't expecting this one. <laughs> really? I legit have come to start expecting you guys to never get into combat, so. I don't like cops. <laughs> there. We're taking the uh, anarchist a little more seriously. Okay, top of the round. Oh, Finn, you're up. You um, just blasted the uh, leader here. I'm going to give him fucking two more. Pew, pew. One of them got him. Yep, one of them got him. Go and roll damage. There you go. Teen, all right. He gets blasted once more, kind of drops him one knee for a little bit. He is now very much hurting. In movement, or are you sticking right there by the wagon? Oh, hell no, I'm staying right here. All right. Fix, you're up. Um, yeah. Poor guy. I just come running at him like tin monster. All right, go ahead and make your attacks. Flame tongue, short sword. Tongue hits. As you charge at this one imperial <laughs> captain, that's been blasted twice, caught off guard by the uh, apparent mercenaries that he thought were going to help him. He just sees you running straight at him in giant metal monstrosity mode, and he goes, no, 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 as you just clear lop off his head, searing, it oh. or searing the wound closed, as you do. Nice. He has fallen. Uh, in defense mode, I only have uh, 10 feet of, or 20 feet of movement, so that is all I can do, so I'll just turn to my left and look at this guy, give him right. a menacing look. Garuk, it is your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to charge at that guy right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull out both, as I'm charging, I'm going to pull out both my daggers and stab him to death, hopefully. Okay, go ahead and roll That's your attack. <laughs> Uh, that is a miss. That one is a fan that is barely a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Right. He was already a bit wounded from the uh, arrow strike. You, he manages to block one of your daggers with his shield, but doesn't see the second one coming in, jabbing him right into the chest as he just drops down. You yank the dagger from it. He is now dead are five more on the field still. Are there still arrows flying in? Well, at initiative count 10, there is in fact another cloud of arrows. Which... Nice. Oh shit, that might hit us too. One, 
Balls. One. Balls. The other three are safe. It is now their turn as well. Seeing as uh, they don't know where the arrows are coming from, but they definitely see you guys attacking them. They're going to go ahead. Two, three, four, five, six. Start running your way. Yes, get closer. I'm just going to make it easier to shoot. Two, three. Two of them are going to go ahead and attack Garuk. Twelve at you. Uh, Wait. No, armor class is seventeen. Okay, you just start dodging in between the two of them, avoiding their strikes. I've got shit. Killer, you're up. Uh, I'll just shoot the closest one to me. Okay, go ahead and roll to attack. It's definitely a hit. Alright, closest one would be that one, and he was wounded earlier, so he drops dead. An arrow sprouting from his forehead. Nice been so long since I've done combat. Do I get one or two attacks? I can't remember. Well, you have two. <laughs> yes, I think you have two. two. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because I have two. Alright, then I'll shoot the next closest one. Alright. That one's a miss. I figured as much. As you uh, fire, he manages to dodge away from it while kind of dancing around with blades out, heading towards Garuk again, but it goes wide. I'll just have Movement. Keith, uh crawl under the wagon just to kind of stay out of harm's way for now. Okay. Tyler, you're up. All right. Are two standing and both are looking hurt. All right, I'm going to move over here. Okay. And I'm going to cast Primal Savagery. Definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, yep, that one was wounded pretty badly as well. As you, uh, your claw is kind of elongate and you slash right across his face, he just falls to the ground without a sound. Cool. Now, one last one there. He just starts looking around. Um, okay. Uh, it is your turn. Bye bye can't have any witnesses that hits go ahead and roll damage with that last smacks him right in the head just hear the sickening crack as his uh, neck is broken heads pushed all the way back falls to the ground poor kid nice. yeah. tried the wrong team homie true as you guys are standing amongst the corpses single arrow plops in the middle of your, like, if you are still here out on the battlefield, plops into the middle of the ground, uh, appears to have a red ribbon tied to it. Uh, Killer, you would recognize this. This is a uh, ranger's warning. It's, like, it's meant to try and just let you know they're still watching, and they can easily shoot you if they want. I'm trying to figure out... it. Seems like they're trying to figure out if you're a friend or foe at this point. I'll I'll go back into uh, actually I'll get rid of my armor entirely. So I'll just back in and, and just kind of a bit. I'd let everybody know. Uh, don't do anything that signifies that we mean harm to anyone else at this point, because they're they're watching. I. I think we have a chance to get out of here and might not be a bad idea to take it. Yeah, can we like pat down that captain? Yeah. <laughs> right, he might have some kind of papers we might need. Not oh, wait a minute. Uh, can I search somebody with Mage Hand? 
in theory, you're probably not going to be as effective at it as you would with your own, because you have to do, I mean, doing it from a distance, but... I've got... I've got a little a more imprecise. Decent investigation. There, I mean, if anyone wants to loot bodies, you're more than welcome to go ahead and roll yeah, investigation Rick, checks go, for that. Go see if the captain's got yeah. any kind of, like, papers we might need. I don't give a shit about the rest of them. Okay, uh, Garuk, you're... And Garuk and Rix, you're both looking over the bodies. Uh, which one of you is looking over the captain's body? I'll do it. We didn't roll, We didn't say it. So yeah. it's kind of your call since we already rolled. Uh, yeah, Garuk, you do manage to find uh, a rolled up piece of parchment that does appear to have an official imperial seal on it, uh, unbroken at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I just, I, I just ran, I just ran over, but it, over everyone else. Uh, between all of the bodies, including the captain, you guys do manage to find about 15 gold pieces, uh, 32 silver, 16 copper. I was just looking for, like, papers, like, you can keep the money if you want. Yeah, yeah. we can, we can throw, the, throw the money in the bag just for... I thought maybe our we'll figure that out. We'll figure duty that out. friends in the woods might want that. That's not as not as important right now, yeah. that's That's something that we can... If they're if looting the bodies, there's just a little bag that I can throw that all in. We can use it just for bribes like that. Or we, we can just we leave it go. behind for the guys that are you know still watching us as peace offering. So I was thinking, just toss it on the background, let them have it. Okay, I'll, I'll hold I'll hold all the money up, even though we can't see them. They I'll can see just... us. Well, <clears throat> we, they can see Indoor. us, but we can't see them. We can't see yeah. them, so I'll hold the money up and then I'll I'll drop it. Finn, Garuk, Taylor, and Tyler, what are your passive perceptions? Uh, f- fucking ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I need a number. 16. 21. <laughs> 15. Okay. Finn, you're the only one that sees it. Uh, as you guys are, you know, having that conversation, getting things together, make the indication, putting the bag on the ground, uh, you do see what appears to be a lone figure standing in the middle of the road, about thirty feet away from your wagon. I'll get us off the battle map since we're not fighting anymore. Uh, thirty feet away from your wagon, just holding a bow and arrow. The arrow is knocked, but it's not pointing at you or drawn or anything. It's kind of just down in a loose position, uh, unthreatening at the moment. People attacked the Imperials. Why? What? Why did you attack the Imperials? What's this person look like? That's, that's <laughs> actually basically that. I was gonna say the same thing. What? Did it simply because you don't like authority? I mean, we don't like those specific authorities. Plus, there may have been some paperwork mishaps that I think that one with the purple shit on his hat was gonna probably fuck up for us, so... We needed him less yep. chatty. So, cuss on opening. Figured you guys were fucking loosening on the lid, so we go ahead and just fucking pop it the rest of the way off and fucking dig in. Oh. Is this person an elf? Uh, you see, they they were they did have a hood up, but they do pull their hood back, and it's a half elf. Uh, oh. Female seems to have her hair tied up into a ponytail. Uh, Kind of looking over all of you. I'll carefully I was pick up on the twins, though. I was gonna say I was gonna to carefully no pick here. up the the bag of gold and and hold it and just say okay, we have no it. need of it. Didn't think so. I'll toss it behind. However, I would like to see that piece of paper that you collected from the captain's corpse. Oh, oh yeah. which piece of paper? I'll, I'll go get yeah, it. Yeah, all like, scary looking one has it. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, good luck getting it from her. I mean, you just have it storm of arrows rain down on her. I feel like that would probably be fine, but... I mean, I don't want to, like, <laughs> like, step over the line, but, like, I think there's a handful of fucking bodies out there that your fucking dudes in the woods with the arrows didn't fucking drop, so if we want to fucking make this a fucking competition... Just give it to her. 
fine. What he's trying to say is that we fucking may have. Maybe you should fucking ask instead of demand. <laughs> is what I'm fucking saying. I don't need you to speak for me, Ricks. Finn. What? Easy. Easy. We had, we fucking helped them take out a squad of fucking Imperials the first thing she does are barking fucking orders. Hard pass. We don't know what they've gone through. Yeah, neither do they know what we've gone through. So, oh, I think maybe a little bit of fucking politeness. Maybe I have some all the archers, gener- I recommend just, 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 just stop. What? I'm scared of some fucking archers. Paper, please. See, was that that fucking difficult? How does shit be fucking rude? Hand her the paper. Yes, your call, Groot. The same. Hey, the, she's on the other side of the road, right? Uh, Inside. yeah, she she's about thirty feet away from the wagon. Uh, do do I see anything behind? What what's behind her? Is there a tree line? How far is it from the road? Can I see if there's anybody behind her? Go ahead and make a perception check. Yeah, I'm definitely doing the same thing. <clears throat> well, disadvantage. We, I, You're still, yeah, uh, cause... Oh no, Sorry. you can fucking armor up, and we'll just kill all these motherfuckers. Nice. Is she uh, pretty? I'm not, I'm not saying. Is she? Is she pretty? <laughs> is she pretty? Oh, is that a perception pretty. check. That's all you can discern. <laughs> I did get a really good passive person. I did ask what she looked like specifically, and that she was might be part of my get her makeup right, but. <laughs> oh. No, I, I I've got my hand up and. No, that's also, like a legit question I, that Finn would have too, though. Is she pretty? She's not bad looking. Uh, she doesn't look like she's putting a whole lot of stock in her like, appearance right is now. Is she more attractive than Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Well, I just want some kind of frame of reference. Probably not, no. Okay. She lo- well, she has more of that, like, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> then I'm less polite. I was gonna be a little nicer if she was pretty, but if Tyler's more attractive than her, then I'm not that fucking impressed. God, <laughs> Finn is awesome. What a character! What a character. <laughs> like, I just want you to know that eventually, I do want my warlock to be like this. Uh huh. Well, so far you have a long that, way to go. Does that twenty-five let me see how many people are in the woods around us? Uh, directly behind her, you do not see anyone behind her. Um, like just in general, like as, as you're kind of looking around, you do spot some shapes off in the distance. Uh, you are still very much surrounded, or quite a f- number of them. At the very the ones you're seeing, you're seeing about eighteen of them. Eighteen. Six. Judging from how many arrows were uh, coming in per wave, there's probably more than that. Yeah, I don't love our odds. But I think still think we could do it. I guess if you guys want to give her the paper, then go ahead. Group, do you hand it over? It's on you, man. It's on you, girl. Oh, you take a hostage. Human shield. <laughs> Drop your bows and walk out of the woods. Before I hand it uh, over to her, I uh, open it up and take a look for myself. There you what go. it reads. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, it she appears to just read be, it first. Appears to be a list of Imperial convoys and when they're heading through this region. No. Eh. Yeah, I'll give a shit mm. about that. Oh, fuck that. Who cares? What do you, what do you see in there, Groot? Absolute shit. Oh, be you, oh, but fuck. we need that information. Hand it yeah, over. you can, you can, you can have it. Oh, and you're welcome to. My friend here wasn't quite as polite about it, but you're welcome. Thank you for the assistance. He, she looks back over at the twins. Are you two red fires? Um, yeah. What? What? You know, you know me, you know us. We know someone that you're uh, related to. 
just need to know why you're back in the woods. To find someone we're related to. You guys are both for friendly reasons dad, or for other reasons. Like how many people are you related to? Could this be like a cousin? I mean, probably both. Roll a persuasion check. Right. She just kind of keeps staring at you two for a little bit. Seems like she's in debate whether to do something or not. Finally goes. Days north of Oakland. Uh, you'll start hitting the Black Rise Mountains. Red rock amongst the black stone find someone there looking that you might want to see. Uh, whenever you do get there, you'll be challenged. Someone's going to ask you a question. Regardless of what the question is, you need to answer this. Speak not with voices. Wait, isn't that what the... Isn't that the old tree lady said to you? Yeah. Did she? Yeah. Fucked up. Should've gone inside and got your fortune read. Really? That's messed up. <clears throat> what? No, that was... No. That, that, she could've said that for any reason. I mean, she could yeah. Come on. Anyway, thanks for the assistance, and uh, she takes one arrow, kind of wraps something around the end of it, fires it up into the air. Uh, uh, about 20 seconds later, you see a soft blue light go off up in the sky. Uh, the Imperials will be here in about 30 to an hour, uh, coming from the south. I recommend heading north to Oakland quickly. Uh, he that, starts walking off into the woods. That bag of gold I threw down with 15 gold, 32 silver, and 16 copper, I definitely grab it. Yeah, she made no move for it. Yeah, she didn't give a shit about it, so I grabbed it. Okay, I, I, I get on the cart. Ricky Tick. You guys ready to roll? Yep, let's go. Open. I'll back on, yeah. Let's go. Um, I'll make it... I'm not like tipping over and shit, but we're going quick. Okay. That you guys start heading off. Keeping a pretty good speed, heading north. Eventually start seeing a few buildings on the sides of the road. Uh, it starts getting a little more populated. You start seeing people. And you gather, you're getting closer and closer to... Hey, does anybody have a pen? Or like, ink? Oh shit, we should write his name on there, huh? Yeah. Um. Um. I have. I was. Uh, I was more of the break into houses and steal shit type, not the like, forge documents type. I have an insignia of rank from Corda. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I don't think that's gonna apply. Nope. So that's a no oh, on that. quill and ink. Oh. Uh, well, we'll uh, take it. Between between here and there, do we see any? I mean, it's pretty uh, much Oakland. We just need to get to Oakland and find the fucking find some way to write that name on there before we try to go report in. Actually, we're not even going to report in, are we? We were basically just no. using that to get Fuck here without that. getting fucked with. Oh no, yeah, we're not going to report in. Hell no. Especially now that we fucking of, murdered the dude yeah, that was going to tell on us. Yeah, we just killed a bunch of Imperial, Imperial Guard. That shit. He ate it in the bed of the war criminal. We're, they don't we're know not that. Up here to, we're not up here to report into any... How big is Oakland? Well, as you guys are... Terribly. Continuing towards it, uh, you do start seeing the trees are thinning out a little bit. You start seeing more and more buildings. Eventually, you're, all, you're able to see it off in the distance. Uh, there are no walls in Oakland. 
It is a just mm. collection of buildings uh, open to the forest. There are scattered trees throughout the place, but most of the buildings here appear to be either wood or stone. Uh, stone ones appear to be a little bit newer than the wooden ones. Uh, you would know, or at least someone someone would be able to share the information with you. It's about 10,000 people uh, in Oakland, so it's not the biggest city by any means, but it's bigger than some. What's uh, what's Hill What's Hilltown as far as population goes? Because that was really compact, right? Uh, Hilltown was very much a compact but massive city. That was about seventy five thousand people. Uh, oh, this okay. one, it's a little bit more spaced out. And as you guys, okay, a little bit closer. I'm gonna like a lot more than. Yeah, you're starting to see this is this is very much different from Hilltown. Uh, this is. A, Clear that this isn't exactly a human city, but neither is it wholly elven either. Um, the twins, you two grew up around elven on, so you're more familiar with like a traditional elven style of city. This is kind of the like hybrid culture of what happens when elves get conquered by humans and the humans insist that they build certain things certain ways. Uh, kind of a mess. There are some main roads leading into the center of the town, but everything else is kind of just freeform built around areas of the forest or plots of you know small plots of land around there not as compact not as dense uh not as it doesn't smell like industry or shit as much as hilltown did um this has a bit of more of an airy forest vibe to the place right so it's it's taylor, a nice change of pace taylor tyler you you don't know oakland well correct or you do really? you two would have traveled through it yeah, you would have traveled through it, but you're not, like, familiar with it like you would be Elvenon. on. Yeah, not, not really. I've, you know, okay. I've and been... we're coming here a few times, but that's about it. Looks like we've got two roads coming from the southwest. Is that where we're entering? Yeah, you guys are coming from the okay. southernmost way. Uh, that one off to the or the upper southwest one, that heads off into uh, okay. just so off to the west. Through into into Westerwood. Yeah, you're coming uh, into the lower like area of Westerwood, uh, like right a, around where like getting. A, what's it like approaching? Like what kind of like? Of course, there'd be there'd be people outside of the city here and there, like in a suburb type style. Like, yeah, you start seeing like fewer city. trees and more buildings uh, with scattered. That's a farmland. Yeah. Not a whole lot of farmland. Like as not nearly as much as Hilltown, which was just surrounded. Are they you know, friendly? rolling fields or anything. But the people, the people we cross are they are they friendly or do they just not give us the time of day? Or... Well, given that it's pretty much nighttime at this point, uh, as you guys are rolling in here, it is dark. Everyone, you know, the streets are lit with some lanterns, uh, but. It's not, you know, bustling by any means at this point. So it's a bit hard to tell. The few people that you run into seem like they're just trying to get home after a day of work or something, or just not really paying too much attention to what's going on. Did they look like a mix of races? Can I uh, yeah, them? actually more mixed than any city you've seen in the past. Uh, you do see some humans, but the ratio Even here Corda. is a lot more different than it would be in Hilltown or Corda, which are more okay. you know, predominantly human cities being farther into the Empire, Hilltown especially. Um, you're seeing a lot more mixed races, like half-elves and half-orcs. You do see some purebloods uh, scattered around, some dwarves, gnomes, uh, a few tieflings here and there, but the ratio of like humans to non-humans is probably a lot more balanced than it would be anywhere else. This is Waterdeep-ish, then, compared to what we've, mm. what we've seen. Maybe. Before. May, I, there might be some, uh, some influence there. <laughs> I'm this is meant to be. This is meant to be like a melting pot city. This is kind of where okay, that's, you know, that's what I needed to know. Yep. That's what I needed to know. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Just judging from those you're seeing, you're seeing a lot more balance. So I mean, I'd be way more comfortable here than I I was in Hilltown and even in Corda, if that's the case. Yeah, because okay. Hilltown and Corda, while they're they do have a good ratio of non-humans there. Are very much like human cities, like cities taken by humans and have yeah, lived, humans have lived for there sure. for hundreds of years at this point. Um, yeah. So, like, Hilltown used to be a dwarven city. It's very much like a human metropolis by this point. 
this one's not so much that. Like, it, yeah, it was conquered by the Imperials, you know, hundreds of years ago, but it doesn't look like the, a whole lot of them settled here. Not as many as in the south. So, it probably has something to do with the fact that the Redwood has always been kind of that, like, untamed area. This has always been, like, the prime elf area. If you're going to find, if you're looking for a specific kind of elf or a specific elf in general, you're probably going to want to head to the Redwood. That's where they're going to hide. <laughs> Well, no walls. Um, nobody. Stopping. No walls. It's kind of scattered. You start cars. seeing like a few buildings into more Check clusters of buildings, and eventually anything. you're just kind of in a city. So we're trotting on in. You guys it's are not entering like the all city. All elves are against the empire, right? Like, no. Uh, no, the, seem, the general consensus usually, uh, at least in the Redwood, and I'm assuming this is coming from Taylor and Tyler sharing knowledge, coming from an elven capital. Uh, every It's not like all elves are death to the Empire or anything like that. Most non-humans aren't death to the Empire or anything. At least not out loud. It's more that they live under the Empire. Some of them are oppressed. There's maybe don't have as much interaction with it, but whenever the Empire, you know, twists a little bit, every non-human feels it. I just want to make sure we didn't have to, like, hide Garuk. I was gonna ask Garuk, do you know anything about this place? You know, if you got sections up here, or there's people we need to watch out for? I know he Garuk, you would not sure know just... anything about the Brotherhood up in here. This is one of the areas of the Empire you haven't really been to. I know nothing, unfortunately. All right. Uh, okay. With that, would you be able to identify quickly if there's a problem? Because if you if you don't know anything about this place and something happens, as in somebody approaches you or you run into an issue, then that's really bad. Because that means the word reached this location quicker than you even knew. So you need to keep your eye out, correct? And let us know. I will. No, you won't. <laughs> you won't. Yeah. Well, then when it stops being advantageous for us, we just cut her loose, dude. I mean, I don't know why you get so fucking twisted up over her secrecy bullshit. The minute it stops working out for all parties involved, we just fucking part ways. Exactly. I mean, I'm not, she's like, naming my had, fucking kids after her. She's had, she's had my back, and I've had her back, and I understand how all this shit works, but... I just, I, I can't live like that. Like, if, if she's going to be with us, then... I, I, and if she doesn't want to share, that's fine. And if she dies, that's fine. I'm just saying. If she's not going to share anything, then we can't help. And and I, and she knows I want to help. Gruk, you know I want to help, right? I don't want you to die. Gruk, you know I don't, correct? Like, nothing personal... Like, I, you're cool alive because you fucking murder the shit out of other people, but, like, this is a transactional relationship, right? Yes, I understand. Right? Like, we're not braiding each other's hair at night. We're oh, not we're not. We're not braiding each other's, not braiding each other's hair at night. Number one, you can't braid my hair because I'm bald. Unless you want to braid my wig. But... I mean, there's always your few... That's true. Yikes. It's a little weird. That was strange. But as far as transactional relationships go, are is that where we are right now with the wolf pack? I think we're beyond that. Correct? I mean, we're not you might. singing kumbaya and hugging each other at night, but we're making money together and we're, we've got each other's backs. Well, yeah, but when, like, when one of us stops, like, being advantageous or, like, working out for the group, like, like, just done with them. 
Like, if I went crazy and just started fucking murdering people at random, like, I don't expect you guys to, like, follow me to fucking prison or death or wherever I'm going. Not that I think that's actually going to happen. I mean, if that happens, I'll try to kill you. Definitely not going to happen. Yeah, but that doesn't define what a transactional (laughs) relationship is. I mean, uh, that's It's it's advantageous for both of us. Maybe Maybe transactional was a misstatement. Like, it's mutually beneficial. I mean, I'm not helping group murder people. I mean, directly. I guess indirectly. If, like, we got in a fight and I killed somebody, you're like, oh, I was supposed to kill that person. But, like, oh, you're welcome. I'm just, uh, I, it's just in my nature to make sure that everybody is, everybody is, is, is benefiting each other and helping each other out. I don't know. I think I probably spent too much time. Cop. Yeah, I mean, no, there's like you know, camaraderie and loyalty amongst us and shit. But is it that's once that? For. That's all I'm looking for. I just want. I think know we got that. that. I mean, it's, you I know, groups all trying to kill every, you. I, I want to know everybody. I want to know everybody's loyal. And and Finn, I know, I know that you're you, you, you'd never leave me fucking dying somewhere. But I, I just want to make sure I want to make Definitely sure not. that you I want to make sure that you wouldn't you wouldn't leave Grook dying. That's all I it care. It depends about. on what Grook was doing. If Grook went to try to fucking murder some random person and got caught and fucking killed, it's fucking the way the yeah. world works, man. I mean, I get it, man. But we we've we've like she wasn't a fucking civilian. I mean, if it's part of like our mutual thing, like right now we're hanging out to go find like. I mean, you I know, guess. you know by now that I that that I'm I'm not a cop anymore, and I defected for a reason. Like I've done uh, at this point, I've I've done things that a cop wouldn't, and well, yeah. it's still ingrained. Well, yeah. It's still ingrained. But and shit, we haven't been together for that long, but. I know you guys give me shit, you especially for uh, being overly paranoid and maybe I'll seeing the wrong, that. seeing the wrong Dude, thing just, at the wrong time. I just, I, grief's going to be mysterious and weird, and like constantly asking her about it's not going to make her change. I know, and I'm not digging for that. I don't, I don't need to know group's business. Exactly. And if Garuk disappears one day, I'm not going to be surprised. Nope. Right, Garuk? No, uh, what? Uh. And when Garuk's business impacts our undertakings, Garuk will give us the heads up, correct? Yeah. Perfect. Fair enough. Yeah. Rick, how do you feel about prostitutes? Um, Cause you seem a little tense. Was quite like, a random you you, need, you so. need to relieve some stress. I'm uh, thinking, the dude, is to get a fucking gill. No, I'm. You know, I, I, I'm. They exist, and that's fair. And they should. That's their their right to. I mean, I was okay. Let me ask more specifically. How you feel about hiring a prostitute to service you so you're less of a fucking like clinchy dickhead? We could all just go to a brothel. That's something we could do, you know. Yeah. No, I I have I have my rituals at night, and that sounds weird saying that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Rosie no. Palm and well, her five fingers. Odinism, Odinism is completely fine, dude. I shine I shine my boots, you know. I. Yeah. I know what they call it these days. Plus, we all sleep in the same camp, dude. We all hear you. Like, it's not a secret. We all just pretend to be asleep. It's like, oh, he's at it again. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what was that sound? Oh, it's come from where fucking Taylor was sleeping. I'm not going to ask any more questions. <laughs> That's a little weird, but okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you need to loosen up a little bit, Ricks. You're just real tense. 
These are, are they? Times, I want to make sure. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? They, we die? Are they not? Are they not? What's not? How Who old are shit? you? Ben? Is any How of this even you? real? How old are you? Uh, like 19? 20? I think. Uh, Hold on. I don't even know his age. I don't. I haven't looked. I'm 20. So I think I think it's funnier to assume that he forgot. <laughs> like, Finn <laughs> as a person forgot. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we keep track. Like, nobody fucking throws me a party on my birthday. I'm not certain exactly when it is. My question, my question would have been absolutely rhetorical because as old as I am, I could look at a human and say you're probably ish age. Again, yeah. li- for you, life is short and live it. If you die yeah. tomorrow, die happy. For me, well, yeah, life is really weird. You don't happy. really know exactly how old we are right now. We're like, we're 26, sure, but like, like how old does that make us? Oh, it's like ballpark, for sure. Yeah. It's like a ballpark. Oh, I'm 20-ish. Like I think so. Seems right. Count back. Well, Taylor, Tyler, how Taylor, Tyler, how old are you? Like as has uh, as half? Are you half elves? Correct. Yeah. Are you literally 26? Yes. Ish. Yeah, I mean it's not like there's a fucking like strictly kept calendar. Yeah. I mean, we have a I mean, now. Do they have brothels in <laughs> Oaktown, Oakland? I find out. I was asking, like, Taylor. Because, I mean... Yeah, I'm not... I'm he was, he's been through here. Or Tyler. I guess not for that matter. I maybe asked the wrong red fire. Just assuming. Because I'm sure I would have went. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're aware that uh, Oakland does actually have a very popular brothel. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, called the green ones. The greenhouse. How are they with red leaf up here? Is it a like anything that comes from the earth is okay to use type of scenario? Shit, well, that's what I do. You, you two are not too sure on that. Uh, like I said, you didn't stop in town for too long, so I'm sure on every law that's up in or that's going on up in here. I'll be discreet for a while. Do you have a good supply? I'm actually probably running low. Yeah, I was going to say, because you've been smoking that shit for a long time on that road. Yep, pretty boring. I'm probably running low on red leaf, but I have other things. I still got some of those mushrooms. Here's the thing. If you guys are running low on red leaf and you're looking for drugs, wouldn't you be able to find them up here more easily than down in like depends on the empire Mm. well corda it was like corda was legal right corda was super wasn't wasn't corda like denver basically yeah corda was legal and hilltown i know yeah they uh they they legalized and decriminalized very quickly uh the rest of the empire not so much Like I said, Hilltown is new people. I knew it was illegal, so. Well, shit. I guess then, no fucking openly smoking weed in bullshit Oakland. Not until you find out, anyway. <clears throat> we've been talk. We've been talking on the cart for a while. Like, are, have I, we? I was gonna ask if if there's broke. anything in particular you're looking for. Or, uh, what uh, are you doing? Is it? It's friend. dark, right? It is dark. I assume we're some... looking for an inn. For an inn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, or a brothel. They can be the same thing. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> there's the one red fire clearly said she's been there before. Uh, the greenhouse does serve as a brothel and an inn and tavern. So the greenhouse. greenhouse. Yeah, the greenhouse. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Is that in Westerwood? Is in the Westerwood, yes. All right, we're at on it. Show me. You wouldn't know it's called the Westerwood, but I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. but yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you guys, <laughs> yeah. I, I have the map for your like, just just for, for my reference. Okay, none, right, none of you so... are from here, so you're not. You don't have that information yet, but yeah. Nope. Right. I mean, I guess do we see an inn or just 
Tyler remember? Do you remember how to get there? Or like you, you would probably to... remember that? Yeah, it's you guys are actually coming up on it. You guys, I'm assuming you've been, you know, just nonchalantly going up the road this entire time. Yeah, yeah. The greenhouse yeah. is right here at the crux of those yeah. three roads. We're going so. slow and bullshitting back and forth to each other. Okay. Yeah, the the greenhouse is at the crux of uh, this road right here. So you're you're literally heading right towards it. And as you guys are going up the road, you can clearly see probably why it's called the greenhouse. Uh, all of the lanterns lit in every window are green. Hmm. It's a fucking greenhouse. I mean, is this gonna be like expensive for an The lighting inn? is really cool. Makes the red skin people look really weird though. I mean, you know. Is there a place to park? There's stables on over on the side of it. Well, the horse is in. All right. I'm saddled up. There's a uh, stable boy that comes out to help you just get everything taken care of, and he tells you to go inside to settle the or tab for that. Sure. So you guys are going inside the greenhouse then? Yeah. I think so. Right. Sounds like it. Okay. You guys step inside. Uh, it appears to be a very large, like, three-story building, uh, most of which is encompassed in this central area. Uh, it's very open space kind of... It's pretty standard tavern. You know, tables all around, some booths along the edges, staircases leading to the upper levels where there appear to be different rooms all over the place. Uh, a good amount of people in here. There's Most of the tables are pretty full. Uh, you do manage to find a couple that would suit your needs, let you guys get clustered up together. Uh, you do notice a staff member, or what appears to be a staff member, going around serving tables and everything. You don't see a human among them. They are all non-human. Uh, various races, all female, a couple male. Well, not all female, a couple male. Not as many as female, but over the place. Uh, every lantern and candle lit in this building gives off a green flame, uh, which... Tyler was right. The lighting in here is really, really cool. Uh, it appears to be some kind of light colored walls. So all you just, you just kind of has this green energy to the place. Uh, made better by the fact that the entire roof is just made of clear glass, letting you stare up into the sky. But you guys are able to get tables. Uh, eventually a serving maid comes over. Uh, can I get you anything? Uh, yeah. Do you guys have rooms available? I believe we still have some rooms available. How many are you needing? Um, I don't know. How many you got? Uh, I'd have to double check. I think we have a good six or so left. Yeah, let me double check <clears throat> on that real quick, though. And she walks off to go talk to the bartender real quick. Are we famished um, at this point? I mean, surely we would want a hot meal, right? As well. yeah, you have rations throughout the day, but... Oh, yeah, fuck that. I'd... Okay, when she comes back. I'll... I mean, it's like eating MREs versus eating an actual meal. Like, yeah. it held. If you can get good food, you might as well. Yep. Uh, she comes back later. It looks like we have exactly five rooms available. Okay. What are the rooms around? Uh, if you're only staying for a little bit, it'll be, uh, two silver each. If you're staying for an entire night, it'll be one gold. Uh, what if we wanted to stay, how long do you guys think we need to stay? Just one night or two? Um. I don't know. Okay. We'll start with one night. Let's go, we'll... we'll... Let, let's let's do uh, let's do five rooms for one night. I've got the the pouch of gold or the pouch of money from. Oh, nice! Back on the okay. road. And like will there be any companionship for anyone? <clears throat> I'm okay. Yep. You guys want to? Sure. Why not? It'll be an extra gold for anyone wishing companionship. Also, no, all right so yeah uh gold for the room gold for companionship pay up whatever you want 
Uh, those of you who do desire companionship, you were given a token. Um, the serving maiden says, just take this to uh, any of the staff members you see wandering around and uh, give it to them. They will tell you that they are uh, to accompany you for a certain amount of time. If you're wanting more time than normal, just pay them directly from that point. Who wanted companions, by the way? I got five gold down for a room each for us. Tyler does. Take yeah, I think that. it was. I think it was everybody except you. No, no. <clears throat> I will pay for him to have a token. <laughs> Me? No, the mouse in your pocket. Of course, you. You need to get laid. Yeah, but you were just talking about like group cohesion, like being out for each other's best interests. You need to relieve a... some stress. Fine. Uh, are meal included with this, or is that extra? Uh, meal is included, drinks or not. Sweet. Um, I'd like to know whatever you have to eat tonight, and I will take a fucking... Uh, I don't know, what do you got? I'll start with ale. It is. Uh, I believe how special today is Westerwood pie. Uh, I can bring you some of that, or I can bring you anything you want on order. Yeah, that works. Yeah. All right. Ale and Westerwood pie for anyone else? Yes. Yes, please. Sure. All right. She heads off. Uh, comes back. Hands all of you your your tokens, so you all know have those. Uh, one that you want to approach can and request it. Uh, she does come back with a round of ale for all of you, as well as five plates of what appears to be slices of pie, uh, except with the filling, it appears to be a mix of like cooked roots and various meats uh, in this kind of tangy sauce. It's pretty good. A little different than what you guys are used to. Sweet. Uh, the twi well, the twins especially. You guys are actually... This is... Some quite elven style culinary uh, artiste, but it's a little more elven than you guys have had since you were in the main empire. So it reminds you of home a little bit. This is kind of that fusion culture uh, here in Oakland. So eyes are not an elven thing, but the kind of sauce, the flavors and the roots and everything are elven by nature. So basically are eating a Korean fusion dinner. <laughs> a Korean fusion dinner. <laughs> Yeah, basically. You want a kimchi pie? Here you go. Probably eating faster than the, you've ever seen her eat. It's pretty good. This place you've you've eaten here before, Tyler. So you're aware. Like th this place is like one of those higher end places to stay, uh, where they cater to everything you want. So mm -hmm. worth it. Totally. But the night is yours. You may do what you wish. Those tokens uh, are with each other. What would you like to do? Are, playing, are there any card games going on? Uh, no, there are no card games going on in this uh, part, at least in from what you can see around here. It seems to be more... While it is still a tavern, it's more of a brothel-leaning <coughs> tavern than anything. There's a lot of people just chatting up I actually, employees. I actually... Uh, I have a, a dice set. If... Uh, Finn wants to fuck around. I don't know how to play dice, though. <laughs> I'm D in D&D. &D. <laughs> I have a rough way to do it. If you I, 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 would, I would throw some I would throw some money down and, and throw some die. So, the way I've always kind of done, or the way I've always seen it done, the way I'd be doing it, is you both DM roll a D6 for making an initial okay. bet. After that, okay. you can make another bet, or you can, like, if you both agree, you can reveal, and whoever wins gets the bet. Basically, you, you just keep tacking on, like, who you think is going to win. Every time you make another bet, you add a d6. Oh. Oh, that's too much work. <laughs> it's not that bad. <clears throat> not that bad, honestly. Uh, once the waitress brings their food... <clears throat> I'll ask if there's any, like, card games going on around. Uh, not here. We try to stay away from gambling here in the greenhouse. I know we tend to every other vice, but that's the one we're always a little iffy on. The, uh, 
couple years back, we had some Imperials that got a little too rough around here uh, after some gambling. So the owner is a little biased towards ho allowing any to take up here. You'd mm. have to probably try one of the other taverns uh, if you wanted to find a good card game. Mm. <clears throat> also not to like presume, but uh, I know the status of Red Leaf is generally less than legal. I was wondering if that was still the case up here. Greater Oakland, uh, it's especially nowadays a little more under Imperial Eye than we'd like, including certain regulations. However, the rules inside the greenhouse are a bit more relaxed. You understand my meaning. Yeah. Hey, hang on just a sec. You just put the bartender on hold. Basically. Leaving the serving maid on red. <laughs> Sorry about that. Finn just spaced out for a couple seconds in the middle of that conversation. Yep, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, sorry. So, red leaf. Yeah, uh, it's generally frowned upon within Oakland, but the rules in this uh, in the greenhouse are a little more relaxed. So, uh, as long as you don't draw too much attention. But how about like acquisition of? I'm running a little light. That's what oh, I want to presume. Check. I get really uncomfortable in my chair. <sighs> no, I get more interested. Taylor is indifferent. Taylor is indifferent. <laughs> Go to the bar and ask for the special house red. Uh, it'll be about a gold per ounce, but... Perfect. That'll work. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. I'll give you... Actually, I'll... I mean, I, I was using the bag anyway. I just hang on to that. I got my own cash. You good? Yeah, I got my own cash, yeah. too. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, okay. All right, as you guys are left to some of your vices, uh, there is a limit on how much of the special house red you can buy uh, that you get capped off at five gold, so five ounces of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. You, know, you don't need a whole lot. Red Leaf's a little stronger than Pod, so I don't, it doesn't take a whole lot to give oh, you I'd, a I'd Yeah, it's like an ounce or two. I wouldn't need to. Yeah. I'll get two. Yeah. I'm not buying a fucking grocery They're not bag. trying to, you know, become major drug traffickers or anything around here. Yeah. No, I'm not, <laughs> not fucking Snoop Dogg. I just need a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Just give me a brick, homie. Yeah. Uh, nope. Just... just... Uh, as you guys are left to your vices for a little bit, we'll go ahead and take a quick break. Anyone needs bio or run or get some water or That's anything like that? Good idea. Cool. Yep. I had a I had a ten year old uh, pounding on my door down here. That's why I had to duck out a second ago. Figured. Uh, so, yeah, my I I am in my daughter's room, and right behind me is uh, Matt. If you're still here, it's Harry's room, and he just got put down, and he is shrieking. And you guys were on mute for the last five minutes so <laughs> this is a good time to break <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll go ahead and take a quick uh five ten minute break let everybody uh, get a chance to the need to we'll come back so, then all right, uh, sounds good be back in a few
Hej. What are the games you guys Joe, do you DM? Me? No. Oh, you don't. It's fucking easy. Anybody can do it. It takes concentration and the ability to think things out. And the ability to actually speak up. Why are you talking about? I gotta say, I gotta say, I I am uh I, I'm I'm DMing uh Rhyme of the Frost Maiden and we've done one session and I've been reading it's fucking huge, but I've reading I've been reading through it and it is so fucking cool. Like, I cannot wait for these guys to get into even a minute amount of shit that they put together for this uh, adventure. It is going to be so fucking awesome. Yeah, I know the stuff I read said it was big. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Like, and you're probably not gonna like hit every town and get all of the shit that each town has because yeah. like you're you're only gonna go through like four or five levels in town before you venture out into the nasty but yeah weird it's yeah it's it's in, it's fucking insane uh, Dragon Heist was fun, but Dragon Heist was almost so short that I don't even know what to do with you guys anymore. Now that we haven't, uh, now that now you now that you finished it and you haven't like went into uh the yawning portal, like yeah, I'm trying to. If you can't tell, I don't know. Can can you tell? Like, do I have too many moving parts? It doesn't seem to be. Okay, good. I mean, it seemed like it transitioned pretty quickly to, like, <clears throat> after Dragon Heist, we had a couple games to, like, dick around, you know? Yeah, that's, that, that's and my And everything concern. seemed chill, and then, like, then this new thing happened. I assume this whole, like, invasion of Waterdeep is going to be a fairly big deal, so. Yeah, yeah. So, since, since you guys didn't immediately go uh, in, into the Yawning Portal and, and do Mad Mage, I basically just went balls to the wall. Like, it's 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 going to be big for a minute. Like, you're going to be there for a while. But th th this uh, Icewind Dale, and that, it is nuts up there. Like, there are so many different things that you can get into. Nice. Yeah, though I do kind of envy Joe, because <clears throat> you don't have to fucking run games, you just get to play in them. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like to if if my brain could actually handle it, but I, I just don't think I could handle it. Yeah. I'm terrible at coming up with things like, you know, out of the blue or, you know, just just things that don't follow the set plan. I I get so lost and confused and I would not be able to plan for the craziness that the players would do. I just Oh, Joe. So much. Joe, 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 Joe. I did pretty there, good. <clears throat> there, there are, I'd say, every session, these guys look at me and say, that didn't happen. <laughs> And I I insist it happened, and they're like, no, that didn't happen. Like, it, you just have to. You legit it. told us that dude was dead. He was. was. That out there. No, he he wasn't. No, he, no, I did not. You say told that. us he was. Yes, we checked I the said, fucking box. You said they're no. both dead. I said, is he alive? You said, does not appear to be. I now. specifically said that Big Al <laughs> check check the breath and and uh, Bryn had. No breath, no no uh, steam coming from her mouth in this cold weather. 
I thought they and... got blown up, but I thought they got torched by the Hellhound. No, because the, the Hellhound, Hellhound spit had... fire the, the right Hellhound at me, and they were right been... behind me. Like he blew fire on their bodies when they were on the ground. Like his cone of fire hit the front steps. Oh shit! When he blew fire at me. That's why I thought I thought they got burned up. That's why I didn't check on them again. Because you said, well, if they weren't dead before, they're dead now because the Hellhound blows a cone of fire over where their bodies are laying. Okay, then maybe that was it. That may have See? been verbatim what you said. See, Joe? That's that's where it happens. And then you're the DM and you just go, meh, okay, you beat me. <laughs> yeah, too much work. It's not that much work. It's just... Eh. I don't know. It is hard sometimes. Like I, but, I think it's fun. I mean, I like coming up with shit. Well, I like, I, 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 I like it. And the re, the one of the biggest reasons why I like to DM is because I know that, like, I have, I have Matt in two of my games, and I have now I have Corey in one of my games, and I know how much fun it is to <laughs> actually play. So I want to like, I don't know, reciprocate. Like, it's it's just it's just fair for me to DM them if they're gonna DM. So I mean, I, it's super fun to play started, when my characters aren't dying. Yeah. <laughs> Considering so, right now my characters in both games have recently come close. Yeah. So <laughs> when, I, when, when when I start a game, like I've started, I've started two games since I've started uh, playing D&D, and each game, the very first people I ask to play are Corey and Matt. Like, and with with Dragon Heist, Corey, to be fair, I asked you if you wanted to play, and you were invited, and that was back when you were yep. here. That, was, that would have been fun. Dragon, you would have fucking, you would have dug Dragon Heist with fucking Ashley's fucking sociopathic bird person. God <laughs> damn, man. Uh, Corey, I feel awful for you, man, because you have to deal with uh, Ellis, Alessandra. <laughs> she sucks so bad. Like, Ashley hates her druid. Matt, I've tried to get her to change she... her character three times and she won't do it. Um, I'm like, dude, are you having fun with this character because you just don't talk? She's like, yeah, it's from a roleplay perspective. It's pretty boring. I was like, do you want to just change it up? And she's like, no, nah, I'm good. All right. Like, Shit, that's that's why I changed Alrex. Like, I, I was getting burnt down on the whole, like, fucking elf cleric. I don't I don't think that Ashley likes the big group, is what I think it is. I don't. Think yeah, that's part of it. That. Yeah. But, yeah, I think but a lot of this, voices. In this small group in Waterdeep, and she is pretty fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, my half orc barbarian has to play the voice of reason. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> all right, are we all back? I think so. Yeah. Taylor, what extension was that that you were testing out? Uh, it was called Beyond Twenty. Your mic sounds a lot was, better now. Oh, okay. Uh, it was a Chrome extension that I found. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. What is this? 23 reviews, mostly positive, five stars. I Yeah, I'm going to have to test that out. That's actually going to be really cool. If... Oh, God, yeah, it looks like it actually does. Yeah, it seems like it works. Interesting with that. That might actually be really good. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I'm going to bookmark that shit. I'm going to come back to that. Okay, that works. So, I'll take another look at that later. Um, so, yeah, everyone's back. We're good? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys are still sitting around the greenhouse, having found out about red leaf rules around here, all with your tokens. What are you guys doing? for rooms, right? Uh, yeah. pen. Ink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You need a pen. Pretender can easily supply that. Yep. <clears throat> Come and then, once we get that name forged, I'm probably gonna get fucking stone hire prostitute. 
Yeah. I'm with you there, man. Mm -hmm. So, nobody knows what Commander Blackwood's... Oh, wait, it doesn't matter because... It's Commander Blackwood. The assistant from Hillwood would have written it down, so it could be anyone's signature, correct? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, we'll try to make it look, like, legible. It doesn't... It could be... Yeah, I mean, it could be anybody's. I mean, Commander Blackwood doesn't have to write it on there. We just need to. We just need to. Write oh yeah, it. no, it's not his yeah. signature. It's just his name on there. We just need to make it like look. Like I said, make it look official. All right. Basically, the name it was missing was like in the part of the task rid of tasking where it's basically saying uh, this group is to report to this person. That's where the blank is. Uh, for further instruction, all questions regarding their business should be directed to this person. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, it was basically just the name of who you were supposed to you know liaison with as a mercenary company working for the empire. There we go. They weren't, because you guys weren't sure, you know, who would be running the show around here uh, or anyone in that, you know, up there that would be running it. That's why it was specifically left blank. So you guys could figure that information out and then put something down. Works for me. Well, I'd say we've all got pretty fucking steady hands, so. I think anybody could just write it in then. Easily enough, you yeah, you write in Commander Blackwood on there. Yeah, and then if that's all taken care of, fucking I said get stone hire prostitute. All right. Fo the night. You, uh, yeah, you, you seek out someone that uh seems appealing to you. I'll let you decide what that entails. And the token, you're done. I'm out. I'm out, too. See you guys in the morning. Bye. They go with their prostitutes. The rest of you, what are you guys doing? Companions, probably the more polite term. <laughs> this is the preferred one. I'll, uh, I'll use my token or whatever and pick somebody. Right. Do you what you decide is uh, appealing to your character? So, yeah, uh, she gets bored after several hours of me talking about my lost love. <sighs> Oh. Oh, God. My oh. <laughs> like I should tip your escort extra too. <laughs> we all should. And she's, just, she's just like, God, please stop. <laughs> when time and, runs out, it's poof. And she, she just at one point is just like, "Do you have any more money?" And I, I just go. I mean, I do, but do you want to be here anymore? And she says, no, I think. <laughs> I swear. I'm going to go to sleep. So that played out. <laughs> and all of us just assume that Rick's like, didn't do any of that. It was just like normal sex stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, unless there's anything specific any of you were doing, uh, no. <laughs> able to you know enjoy your companion, enjoy some more ale, and any other intoxicants you choose. Uh, the next morning comes by. Those of you who paid for the full night experience experience it. Uh, those of you who don't wake up alone, eventually all of you make your way down to the tavern for breakfast. Morning. They have baths. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Any baths? Say that again. Baths. Have, yeah, baths. Other baths. Yeah. yeah, there are there are baths. Uh, the basement of this building is actually a bathhouse. I I'd, probably would have retroactively her. taken a bath before I fucking hired my companion, since I was probably pretty fucking road dirty. Yeah. 
Or if that's not an option, I'll then take a fucking bath. I'll probably have a bath in the morning either way. <laughs> I would uh, just soak in the fair, fucking tub. Yeah, I I would I would retro just give up uh, the bag that we grabbed from the scorched earth place and just like the fifteen gold, thirty two silver copper and just spend it just here just dumps to make a sure big that sack every, of money on the table yeah just make sure everybody every uh, everybody's good to go like just make sure it all happens if there's a bathhouse and there's and there's companionship and there's food and drink this is what i use easily done ends alone would run you 10 gold so there's the majority of it <laughs> yeah um yeah. And the well, eleven. Excuse me, since Taylor paid for an additional. <laughs> oh yeah, eleven. <laughs> Assuming one or two of you probably chose the full night experience. That's another gold on top of that. Yeah, no, I paid for my own as well. Yeah. So. By 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 the end, by the end of the morning, you know, and baths have been had, food has been had, some you know drinks and everything. It's yeah, you're down to like a couple copper and maybe two silver left, so you're covered. Like it's gone. Yeah. Hidden your blood Sweet. money. We wipe that off first. It's in our first rodeo. <laughs> no. The soap off after laundering it. It was but, like some kind of bullshit, like Imperial soldier script that we couldn't spend anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you an Imperial Dim a dollar. Yeah. No, thank you. Morning is yours. What would you like to do? Can you point where we are on the map? Yeah, you guys are right here in this crossroads building right there. That is the greenhouse. Right in the middle of town. So we got to get out of town and go north, right? Yeah, we need. We don't have any reason to stay here. Right? We're going to Elvenot? Or, no. I mean, where are you guys going? I, I don't know. Aren't we supposed to go, like, north of here? To, like, the Red Rock? It did say north of here, yeah. That's what the bitchy lady in the woods said, right? That is what... The she, said, she said if you were looking for uh, the, the relative, you needed to head three days north of Oakland into the Black Rise Mountains, look for the Red Rock surrounded by black. Oh, shit. So we're gonna... Sure, that'll just be our next step. We're gonna go straight north, then, from here. We're gonna go... We're ven gonna venture off the road. Well, if we want to find a relative, our... which... We do, right? We do. I'd like to. Okay. I'll say, like, well, at this point, it's y'all's fucking rodeo, so... You just yeah, tell us where we're going. It's on you, kids. Yeah. I mean, I'm out of, like, fucking spending money. Like, I got walking around money, but I blew most of my fucking big cash on this fucking dope belt, so. Like, I'm ready to just get the fuck up out of town. Like, we don't need to feel like hanging around, do we? We can leave. I have no problem with just leaving. Yeah. Finn, Finn how much gold you got? Um, I don't know. It's kind of a personal question. Why? I'm fucking asking. I'm wondering I how make, we're doing. How I got like 90 walking? gold. I got like 90 gold and like 30 of these platinum coins and like 60 silver pieces. 30 plus? Yeah. It's a lot of fucking platinum. No shit. Okay. No, I'm not trying to be intrusive. I'm just saying. No, that's, all, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm my fuck paying my way, dude. I'm fucking flush and, with cash. And that's, and Speaking that's of, where... I probably need to get a weapon. Because it probably looks we were... super fucking conspicuous that I just walk around with no weapons when magic's, like, super regulated. I need to get a sword or something. I do. I guess I do I want it. something. Not do I have an extra sword? Because I gave... Tyler, you still have my crossbow, right? Yep. Because I definitely don't I need a... that shit. Yeah, I got a dagger, but that's not... I got one of those. Good. That's for shit. I should take a sword off all those fucking cops we killed. 
Oh well. Oh. Next time. You want to stop and get a short sword? I don't give a shit. It's, it's not, not gonna that. Cost, it's not gonna cost that. Yeah, oh, I'm sure that, that the Imperials probably bought all the weapons around. Plus, like civilians buy weapons. I'll just run across one. I'm sure we'll kill somebody at some point. They'll have a fucking sword I can take. All right, so since you're not going weapon shopping, is there anything you want to do before you start heading out of town? Not I. We have no... We have no reason no. To, to stay here. We have no fucking reason to stay here. I'm good. I still got a bunch of arrows, so I'm good. I'm good. We should pull them out of those dead dudes in the fucking road, too. I Actually, got money laying on the, the ground. Finn, look well, I'll try to remember next time. Scraping the scrapping. Alright. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Rook, is there anything you want to do in town before? Now. I mean, do we have enough health potions? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I got like one left. So, possibly. Oh, I have, no, I have three. Sorry. Come DM, on. do I think it's odd that he just asked, she just asked if we had enough health potions? I'll go ahead and roll an insight check. <laughs> Pretty normal. Hmm. Yeah, do we have any? I, mean, I got a couple. That's kind of like you guys check your inventory, whatever you have. Thing yeah. type of deal. Uh, I don't. That's a good point, Groot. I don't have any health potions. Uh, you guys, uh, Taylor, Tyler, do you know anywhere uh -huh. in town health potions? Doesn't look my bag. You sound awful. <laughs> I can't hear you. Is this better? A little yeah, better. a little better. Yeah, um, little. Corey, is there? Uh, oh, it, it, uh, Taylor, Tyler, we're we're yeah we're on the outskirts. Outskirts, man. We're about to get out of here. Like yeah, yeah. God, maybe we should get some health potions. Do you know anywhere in town? Maybe not. Would I? I I I feel like I don't. I feel like I wouldn't. Oh, you guys aren't that familiar with town, like yeah, you're not from a. Basically, had like a couple layovers in here, and that was about it. You, you saw the hotel, way to the airport, and that was it. Well, dude, like going back in town, like looking for shit, is gonna get us more imperial attention. I agree. Like, why the fuck are we sticking around here? Let's just fuck off. We need to fuck off, right, Finn? I mean, that's kind of where we were headed, right? I mean, do you need a healing potion, Garouk? I got, like, one left. I don't know. Well, I mean, I just don't know Maybe. where... Like, none of us know shit about this town. Yeah. Like, we probably should have asked at the greenhouse yeah. before we left. I mean, maybe after this little meeting up here, we'll find out where we're going next. We'll pick All some right. more up. I got an extra one. I'll sell it to you if it like you need it. If that makes you feel better. That's fine. Then fucking drive on. You said it's what All three right. days towards the. Ah! Fuck off. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, from what you were told, it was a three-day journey north of the, north of Oakland. Um, the road that goes off here is the northernmost road. Uh, just kind of takes it. You move it back over the map. It's an unmarked road uh, on the main map because it's not an imperial, like an official imperial highway. 
that road just takes you up like towards the Black Rise Mountains and then along the edge of the mountains. Villages and stuff at the base of the mountains that kind of their main travel route. But yeah, you were told just three days north. That was as specific of an invitation as you were given. Well, they point us towards like a particular mountain, right? Uh, no, they <clears> said <throat> three days north. Look for the red rock surrounded by, or the red stone surrounded by black. Yeah, well, maybe we're looking for that. I'm assuming that's pretty obvious. And as you guys are heading out of town, you can you can't see the mountains yet, so it's not too sure yet, but. Okay. Until you get there. But as you guys set out, let me go ahead and have... Uh... Armor Shadows. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll go ahead and have one of you run, or roll a d6 for me. Somebody else will do you want me to? Nope, somebody else. Four. Okay. A couple hours of your journey are fairly uneventful. Nothing really seems to be happening. As as you get a little bit farther and farther towards the mountains, the trees start thinning out again. Um, pretty naturally, just leading to some basic ground, like ground, not quite grassland, but you know, flat land, a little bit of grass, mostly stone. As you're starting to get a little bit closer to the mountains, you are now able to see through the thinner tree cover, the tips of the Black Rise Mountains. And you can kind of see why they're called the Black Rise Mountains. Uh, the very tops of all of them are, instead of being white covered snow top mountains, like some of you may have heard of other places in the empire, these are all black or black tipped, every single one of them. You're not sure if it's some kind of shadow up there or if it's just the natural stone coloring, but er, yeah, they very clearly know where they got the name from. But as you guys are heading over there, uh, you come through a bend in the road that is surrounded on both sides by two hills. As you do, there it is, there it is. Uh, you suddenly look up. It's been kind of a bright and only a lightly cloudy day, but as you're going around this bend in the road, storm clouds seem to very quickly converge. Sky darkens around you. You hear the rumble of thunder above you uh, as you're going around this, and you suddenly see shadow from what little light is still there on one of these hills, casting, uh, being cast from the top of one of these hills. Uh, a shorter figure clad in what appears to be some kind of old rug. A large blue staff, blue and wooden staff in one hand as he shouts at you, Top! Where you are! You must pay me tribute. So, whoa! And what's this person look like? Well, it's kind of hard to tell from here. They are very short, about three and a half feet tall. Uh, look, all you can really see from here is what looks to be they're wearing an old rug, uh, similar like they just have it draped over them like they would a cloak. No, I'll take the reins of the horse and the horses and kind of pull them back and look back at Finn. So check him out. Uh, it's my yeah. road. Just pay me <clears throat> tribute, or I will curse you and smite you. Like what? Are, what are you talking tribute? Like you want know, cash? Can't see anything. This cash will work. Uh, you're able to make out a little more details. Uh, not a lot. It looks like some folded down green ears are peeking out from the front of the quote unquote hood of this rug. And you do see some uh, green skin holding this staff on his hand, clawed fingers. Uh, you kind of get the sense this may be a goblin. Hey, you want me to go <clears throat> fucking chop his head off? Or I mean, what if we don't pay you? You're going to curse us? will curse you and smite you like in that order yes it's like would the curse be the smiting <laughs> or in addition to cursing us because i'm saying it just seems like a waste of a curse like you're really just wasting your curse just smite us and be done with it there's a curse or... smiting 
Oh, it's a curse of smiting? Well, that seems kind of redundant to say both. It's redundant. A? Eh? How much is the tribute? Like, like 10 copper? Hold up. No, I got a silver piece. How about... I'm not flush, really, right now. Uh, I pay for a lot of companionship. My very ugly friend did, too. So, you know, he's broke. Five bazillion silver! Five bazillion silver. <laughs> Can I just kill him now? <laughs> did, you, are, are, did, did you just say bazillion? <laughs> <laughs> did he just say bazillion silver? I did. He did. Yeah, I, Little figure just shouted at you five bazillion sink or silver. How many is bazillion? I oh, want what? him to be in our party. Well, well, if we don't have five, we don't have five bazillion. So I'm con I'm in control of the horses right now, and I'm, I'm it then. looking. I'm looking back at at, at, at Finn. Huh. Who's talking? What the fuck is going on, man? What what is this? I don't know. Just go being forward bored. or not? Go forward or keep going? Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna curse us. <clears throat> I mean, I don't, you know, it doesn't seem like it's a trap. He just seems like a little, like, you know, mentally unwell goblin that thinks he's gonna get five bazillion silver pieces. What like what's that ratio in gold? Like, what's five bazillion in gold? Because we, we might have that. 300 million! 300 million? Okay. What That's about a lot platinum? Of gold. That is a lot of gold. Where are you going to put that? Have a place! Can you that even carry that? Gonna fit that? I don't even think you could carry that, if, even if we had it. Well, here, dude. Look, I've got like. I've got a hundred gold here. Why don't you come down and see how much of that you like, how heavy that is, and then we'll talk about the other two hundred and ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand and ninety. I, ho I hop off the cart. I hop off the cart, and I keep my hand on the reins. I'm looking around, waiting for him to approach. I'd make a uh, persuasion check, Finn. I'll pull out my fucking bag of coins and jingle it. Come on. Like, I don't think you can hold this. That's a hundred. Kind of like slowly comes closer, starts coming down off of the hill a little bit. Still holding the uh, blue tipped wooden staff kind of pointing in your general direction. You know, see, as he gets a little bit closer, he pulls out a uh, smaller stick, looks almost like a wand in his other hand, and just holds it over at the side, uh, pointing in, like, general direction, but not, like, aggressively pointing. So, just kind of holding it ready. It's a little closer. How much is it? This is, a, like, 100 gold-ish. I'm real dumb, so I have trouble counting sometimes. Put it on the ground! What? Put it on the ground! I'm not gonna throw my money on the ground. I'm not some asshole. No, come here, I'll fucking hand it to you. Jesus Christ. We're civilized people. No, don't you fucking throw that on the ground. I just told him about throwing it on the ground, Rix. He comes a little bit closer. He puts the, uh, the wand away, tucks it into a pocket in the rug that he's wearing. You can see as he gets closer, yeah, he is a goblin. Uh, not a very clean individual, and the rug definitely smells. But he's kind of holding this staff over as he goes, slowly reaches for the bag of coins. Uh, if I throw the bag of coins in his face, do I get advantage to kick him in the nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I was <just> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh fucking yeah. And make it a contested dex roll, and if you succeed, then yeah, you get the advantage for kicking him in the nuts. Okay. So, so what, yeah, roll go, ahead, a... go ahead and roll a just roll a straight dexterity check. Okay. You beat him. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and roll. 
Uh, since it's not really like Eldritch Blast or anything, just roll a strength check at advantage. Uh. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, <laughs> uh, my unarmed is like my... What? It's one plus your strength, since you're not a monk or anything, so... Okay. Two damage as he gets kicked in the nuts, and you just hear this high-pitched goblin... Ah! As he just falls over to the ground a little bit, clutching. Uh, I'm, gonna... I'm gonna kick his... Is he, like, still moving around, or is he, like, stopped? Five. And he's still he's still awake, and he's just glut, like you can't see the one oh, hand, but you assume it's probably huddled God. around. Like, oh, God. The other one's still holding the staff, so he's laying on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna hold my hands out and like make him crackle, like not eldritch blasting yet, but get ready to. Now, why don't you put that staff down and pay tribute to us? Roll an intimidation check at advantage. Ooh. Oh, shit. Damn. He goes, uh, oh, he shit. throws the staff down in front of you and the wand that he had tucked in the ro or rug as well. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Anything else? Oh. Right. I'll pick up the fucking staff and the wand. See your tribute paid. Get the fuck on. It's like crawling away as he's still trying to just recover from a nut kick. Sweet, we got a magic wand, guys. Maybe. Is it magic? I Go and roll an arcana check. Oh, I do have... Oh, not advantage, though. Uh, yeah, the the staff is very clearly magical. Uh, you feel the power come ra just radiating off that one. Uh, oh, the wand itself, however, as you kind of just give it a once over, you don't know identify, so you don't know exactly what it does, but you do feel a very faint magical essence from it. Oh so, yeah, the staff has a lot more power to it than the wand does, but definitely both are magical. Sweet. All right. <clears throat> Toss him in the wagon. I believe you may resume, Rixie. Yeah! <laughs> Off you guys go. The rest of the day, uh, eventually the storm clouds that had been generated over that hill area, they just kind of disperse. Uh, they It almost seems like for a little bit they follow you. Uh, after like an hour or so, they've kind of broken up and have gone their own ways. Um, going, the rest of the day is uneventful. You eventually find a good spot off the road to make camp. Are you guys doing anything before you go to bed for the night? Um, nope. <clears throat> no. Uh, uh, we don't watch, I assume. Or else we have two elves, right? So you guys can just split it. The rest of us can just sleep all night. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I would if I could, but... Are they doing say? that? That's what yeah. I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, neither of them have said. Like, <laughs> cricket. It's fucking crickets. Me and, Ty me and Taylor, or Tyler, me and Tyler just fucking staring at you two. Right? <laughs> That'll take watch. Fucking... Right. They'll wake up fucking when Rixie gets ready, he'll come take the rest of the back half. Lazy ass human. What? Fuck you. I don't fucking bitch when I use my fucking magic to shoot bad guys and help fucking kill them for us. It's just, I'm fucking good at that. And it just happens. So you're good at fucking only needing a half a night to sleep. Don't be shitty. You're, you're literally the. <laughs> I'm literally the what? You I suck. mean, if it's a big deal, I'll split a night of watch. You suck, dude. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. As a as a player, let's let's just fucking run with it. Oh, oh my god. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> God, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so you two are splitting watches. That was <laughs> the I think that's where we landed on that. Whoever's <laughs> taking first watch, go ahead and roll a perception check at disadvantage. Uh, I would refresh my armor of shadows before I went to sleep. <laughs> so as not to be caught unawares. Okay. And Rix, for your, or nothing happens on your watch, uh, Garuk. Rix, for your watch, go ahead and roll one as well. Disadvantage. Hello. There we go. Yeah, nothing seems to happen on your watch either. The night goes by uneventfully. Everyone wakes up in the morning, ready to go for the next day. Sweet. Um, I will have Elvis do the fly real high in the sky so they can't distinguish what he is. And if he sees anything ahead of us on the road, he just flies back down to me as a signal. Okay, go ahead and roll a perception check for him. Oof. Oh, fucker. He's really high in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As he's up there, you guys get onto the road. Uh, unless there's anything specific any of you are wanting to talk to each other about. Nope. Uh, someone, instead of rolling a d6, I'll have you roll a d100. Oh. Is it my turn to go? No way, I just rolled one a while ago. I think is it Taylor, Tyler, or Taylor or Joe in real life? Ninety-four. Please make Big be good. <laughs> Find it. I, I went with a different list. I had I had a very long list of very like different ones, but you guys have somehow gone through all of them already. <laughs> I've had to go current sorting. I found a wizard tells what this fucking staff is. Okay. Uh, as you guys continue down this way you find another spot uh it's you start running into more like not mountains per se but like the hills are getting a little bit bigger with each time like you're there's a few areas of the road that you're following where it seems to get like cavern not cavern wise or canyon wise like you're in a bit of a gorge between two very large pieces of rock going through there uh during one of these gets a little bit twisty and turny going down the road, but you eventually come around another bend, and you see appears to be an elven woman in a robe, and a dwarven warrior in armor carrying a battle axe, standing around a group of goblin corpses. And you can hear them arguing from where you are, uh, the elven woman. Very clearly, I killed 18 of them. I don't know why you keep thinking that three of them that I killed were yours. So like, ah, shit. No, I killed them. You can very clearly see where I chopped their goddamn heads off. Oh, they kind of stop as they hear the wagon horse as you guys are approaching. Hello. Can we help you? Nope. Maybe. I don't know. What you got? Like you did got once. Nice. Yeah, there was one, oh, like, yesterday we ran into. That's some, like, Stick kept waving. I said we had to pay some kind of toll. So I fucking kicked him in the dick, told him to fuck off. <laughs> kind of look at each other, and look at you. <laughs> you didn't kill him. No, oh, why? He's a goblin. And? There's a I lot mean, of goblins just... around here that have been killing people. Well, yeah, he wasn't like, coming as aggressively. Like I said, I took his big dumb stick, kicked him in the fucking donger and he fucking took off he was by himself 
the uh, the elven woman kind of chi- or like she perks up a little bit. Was it magical by any chance? I don't know. Maybe. It is. I can identify it for you for uh, sixty gold. <laughs> Ooh, shit! Is it hot in here. God damn. Mm. Damn sixty. Uh, that's a little steep. I'm running a little um, low on the components for that spell, so it would have to cover the cost cool. of that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not losing any sleep over it. Uh, so what are you guys doing? Just like running around killing goblins? Dwarf just kind of looks around. Yeah, basically, uh, we have a commission from the uh, council back in Oakland to go around and start killing some of the uh, more violent goblin bands. This one here, the uh, clan of the Trickfoot. Yeah, they've been going around and harassing roadside travelers, so figured we'd take them up on it, chop the ears, and go get paid. Nice. Cool. Are there a lot of these goblin bands around? A few around, as you get closer to the mountains. Not all of them are violent, but... uh, the Trickfoots here, they did get it a little too violent with the travelers. Usually you just find some that are uh, a little wary when people go by. I'm not too worried about us. We, uh, we handle ourselves, so. Apparently. Apparently you just kick him in the dick. I was just one dude. That was tiny. Yeah, what was it gonna do? Like, I took his fucking dumb stick, told him to fuck off. Fucking crawled away. He said he wanted a bazillion silver pieces, which converted into 300 million gold pieces. Damn. I'm going to word that. That feels like a really big word for a goblin. Yeah, it did seem like he was fairly. That's why I kind of felt bad about killing him. He seemed like, oh, if you ever try to shake me down, we probably could fucking, you know, play some cards, had a drink. Fair enough. Uh, if there's anything else we can help you with, uh, we, we're trying to settle this for ourselves before we uh, take the ears back and get paid. Cool. All right, well. Travels. Yep. Uh, so what do you guys like? You guys like think this is your dad or you think it's like a random cousin? And to the two of them or the party? Uh, to the two of them. I mean, I mean, I'm saying it out loud so everybody can hear it. What do you mean exactly? No, not these two. Like the red fires. Oh. Yeah, like yeah, I figured he, we were riding he, off. He He's addressing Taylor and Tyler. Yeah, okay, so gotcha. I stop listening to that dude. Because I want to hear it too. <laughs> Apparently the red fires aren't answering. Nope. Can you say it one more time for me? Oh, I was just asking if you guys like, do you think this is your dad or do you think this is like some random cousin? And if it is your dad, like, how do you guys feel about that? Well, I don't know to all of those questions. Um, like, do you have a lot of cousins? Not that I know like, of. Are you from a big family? No. No. I mean, because she seemed kind of like the person you're looking for. Like, trying to be vague, but... Are you not from a big family? Like, are you not? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. think so. What kind of a family are you from? I mean, it was just us four growing up. So, so it's probably your dad. Probably. I don't know. Maybe I do have cousins that I've never met. Who knows? Yeah. You guys didn't spend a whole a lot of time with extended family. Uh, since you guys were living in the more centric area of the Redwood, you came from a mixed race family. <laughs> uh, wasn't the greatest. So you got you got sheltered away from a lot of like if you have any extended family, you don't know of them. So it's like ninety nine percent chance that you're dead. It's like it's like ninety four. How do you feel about that? Like, is it gonna be weird seeing him, especially since he's like an outlaw now? I don't think I'm gonna know until I know. That makes sense. Well, 
But when you see him, you're gonna know him, right? I'm a so. Cut out. What? Said I'm assuming so. Yeah. You're cool. assuming that you're gonna know your dad. I mean, I'm hoping. Wait, I don't know. Yeah. And happen in these woods. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Are these, are these, you know is this trail your, like? You know, you know what your dad looks like. Of course like I know what my know dad your looks dad. like. That's yeah. what I'm saying is whenever you see your dad, you're going to know your dad. Most likely. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that. these spooky things sometimes. I don't know since we've been gone what's been going on. Yeah. I'm just going to run wanna... into the torture in Oakland. Do you want to see it? Do you do you want to see your dad? I want to see him. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what we're going to check on to see what's well, up with him turning, no. like No. Rebel. No. No. Taylor's not saying anything. Taylor, do you want to see your dad? Do you your want to see your working. fucking dad? His mic's not working. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> God, You're just yelling at a mute. <laughs> oh, that sucks. He says yes, he wants to see his dad. When he's silent, oh. it usually means yes. Damn it. Just sitting there very angry and starts sign language at you. God, that sucks. <laughs> Elven sign language. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whatever. What an unfortunate thing to happen. You think we should try to, like, get cash for killing goblins? Yes. I mean, it depends on how much money they're going to give us to just kill some goblins. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Keep of course, going. Taylor would, like, see his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going with Discord. I think mine might cut out too. I haven't noticed any issues with mine. Okay. Is, is mine okay now? Yeah, yours yeah. sounds better now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, he's put some stuff in Roll20 for character stuff. Uh, probably would be better to get a job to kill the goblins instead of just bringing ears and heads back. Yes, that is true. Precious just random massacre goblins. That's what I was thinking was like taking the job. Like instead of just I mean if we happen to kill some goblins, we should probably just take the ears just to be safe. Yeah. Especially since we know ears may be involved. Would that be that wouldn't get us in trouble, right? I kinda of just wanna look weird and ghoulish. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I guess it's a normal thing to run across in like a D&D &D world. What? Is this, a, is this a bag of ears? Oh yeah, it's for a bounty. We're going to turn them in for gold. Hmm. Yep, that makes sense. Alright.
All right, but the rest of the day goes by pretty uneventfully. You guys camp down once again. Uh, you do notice as you're camping down, the moon is out tonight, which would mean out uh, whatever was written originally in the good night book may have an answer to it. Shit. Oh, I'm going to check. Okay. Uh, you open up the book and you do find some writing in there. It's not a whole lot because the question was a little vague. Uh, answer to the question, what is the blade doing right now? Mm -hmm. answer Please, currently it's not written. taking a shit. The answer currently written is the blade is currently organizing covert groups of light blades and peacekeepers to raise and torch rebels in the Redwood Forest. He has tasked his underlings with assisting in this endeavor, specifically the torch and the wolf. Well, actually already seen the work of the torch. As the traveler ferrying supplies and troops uh, during this process, while the blade himself is currently working to implicate the Northern territories in terrorist activity using Intel given by the wolf. Hmm, okay. I'll let everyone read it. All right. Things that get people to video. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's what that pop-up was. Oh. It's turned on video, apparently. I just clicked it and it went away. I mean, it's still there, but it's not doing anything. Did I actually do that on purpose? He's also not talking. Maybe he did it on accident. That was <laughs> mic cut out. Does it cut your mic over when you're trying to do a video call? I do not know enough. I haven't messed with video on Either. Discord too much. Uh, I think I'm supposed to see that wolf person. Oh, the hell. Oh. Let's see. The fortune read you uh, was said to seek out the one known as Wolf Wren. The wolf. I don't know if that's the same person or not, but. Oh, yeah. I would give that clarification. Yep, they're probably not the same person, but still. I think we just need to find one of these fuckers and fight him, just to see if we win. Maybe we take the torture. He set us on fire. They're fighting uh, powerful soldiers when they're isolated it goes really well for par all parties involved. Yep. Yeah, well, since we're having so many technical difficulties, and I at this point, like, until you guys get up into the mountains, so that's kind of the end of things. Like, we might as well just wrap up here. All right. For information. And for cool. the night again. That works. Thanks for the game, dude. I'm glad we yeah. can. Yeah, I'm glad we stuck in before the new year. Yep. Um, I'm assuming Joe just still recording. Uh, he thinks it is. I'm uh, gonna, I'll, I'll close it out. Oh, he wants he to. To. Uh, for those watching, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.